Welcome to the Nostalgia Test Podcast, the show where two longtime friends put their mainstream pop culture past to the ultimate test, the Nostalgia Test. I switched my Wi Fi. Oh, all right. Where were you oh. on? The guest? No, I was on my, uh, my hotspot because I'm, <laughs> I'm in my basement and I don't get good Wi Fi down here. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I see. got a broken ass arm. <laughs> oh, okay. We're gonna get we got killer clowns like version hot Steve. internet. Killer right? clowns version internet. <laughs> internet. <laughs> the slow is it's going as slow as slow as the killer clowns in this in this movie. Dude, they waddle. They what? look like they're walking with shit. First of all, there's only one of them that moves pretty fast. It's the guy who like kills people in the uh police department. Everyone else is like, that's the scariest moment. They look like they're holding it in is. a shit. Yeah, it is. it's fucking. That is the scariest know. moment. Yeah. We'll talk about that. Because yeah. that I was like, all right, it's finally scary. Yeah. Other than that, this movie was trash. All right. That was a pretty yeah. bad movie. All right, Dan. All right, Steve. You do your little uh, intro. We'll, we'll start, intro. start right away, or else I could I could talk about how bad this movie is. Yeah, yeah. Well, you what? loved it. You loved it. Yeah. Okay. Good. I remember. Lo- okay. Go ahead, Dan. Do All right, your, welcome everyone uh, to the, another uh, episode of the Nostalgia Test Podcast. I'm Dan Dissinger here in LA. I'm here with my good friend and co-host Manny Aquello in New York. Manny, how you doing? Whew. I'm all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man, I don't know. Got got the case of the giggles today. Oh my god, uh, this is going to be a good one. Good. Uh, this is maybe. a good one. Well, I think, you know, <laughs> even though. Even though the product that we're testing is terrible. I blame the person that's our guest today for this uh, movie, even though he tried to tell us over text that he did not, <laughs> he did not, answer, but we have the whole thing. We're going to put it on the show notes. If Fake he denies news. It. Fake news. <laughs> uh, I did not suggest this piece of crap. We're here with uh, Manny's idea. our yeah. good friend there in Maryland, Stephen Herrera. Steve, how are you doing over there? Man? What's up? What's up? What is up? <laughs> I'm chilling. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm chilling here with a broken arm. Uh, I think that's why we spotty Wi Fi. <laughs> spotty Wi Fi. We're gonna have some technical problems, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. yeah. And we sorry. finally got Steve after two attempts. This is gonna be. This was gonna be strike three. This was gonna be strike three. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah two- <laughs> but you missed. Like you suggested Point Break, and you weren't even there. Oh. I don't even remember the offer, but we you know we won't go there right now. Bro, like, what are you doing there that you don't remember? <laughs> so we find, you know, you had to break your arm in order to yeah. get you uh, to uh, to an episode, yeah. Yeah. which sucks otherwise though. I'd be, otherwise, I'd be out just playing, like doing playing a gig, ups and, and cartwheels <laughs> and stuff. I was well, seeing all the cartwheels. It's kind of terrible that a musician is broken the arm. So, and you probably is that the same arm, arm or finger or hand that you break like all the no, time? No, that's this is actually my left hand, which is uh, my left arm, which is different because it's usually the right hand uh, and arm and shoulder. And you just had to even it out as you got I, older. Yeah, you know, <laughs> you can't go can't go to the grave with just one. <laughs> you know, I got I got to have it evened out. You know, I yeah, hear you because I'm outside just trying to like whack my hand against a pole. It's being like, you got to break this one next. <laughs> if you got one, you got to get the other. You got to get rule. the other. Yeah. Well, I mean, right. guys, we're here today to talk about. <laughs> Are we really going to talk about this? <laughs> <laughs> like, I just told me. First of all, hold on. Yeah, go ahead. I have to introduce. I, I, I found uh, from John Oliver. Um, he was joking around about what season we're in. And he did a bunch of cuts to this. So I have to give this to John Alva. I did not realize we were in spooky season. This is oh, yeah, thing. we're in spooky season. I did not. October. Did not. I know we're in, the, you know, it's October. It's time to celebrate Halloween stuff. Halloween is one of my favorite holidays. But I did not know it was called spooky season. So we are doing a spooky season. We're doing a spooky episode. Episode. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a spooky episode. I mean, thank you to this- Steve Herrera for offering and you, you didn't remember but i do have to say when i saw you write it i was like hells yeah i loved this movie when it, when we were younger Dude, unless I me, thought too. I did. me too i mean i i think i remember watching it with like man and Tania or something always oh my god <laughs> here we go again Dude. everything 
Madison Everything, to you is Madison is gonna needs to come on an episode because he gets dropped all the time. We are dro- you guys have been dropping his name, and I'm like, I'm listening to you guys talk about. It. I'm like, yes, me too, <laughs> me too. We have done his block. So was he like the Sherpa for all of us in our like, yeah, childhood? Yeah. There's a lot of pop this. culture phenomena. Yeah, yeah Cornell there's, Street. There's, there's Cornell Street, Dude. and uh, he would invite everybody over, and we'd watch it in his basement. Uh, yeah. We'd watch all those crazy. He loved Black Christmas. That was that, like one of his. Uh, oh, he ruined my life. <laughs> Dude, I remember that one kind of. See, I only remember kind of, but I do remember going to Madison and you guys yeah. and watching it. Yeah, it was. I remember pretty, someone was getting rough. stabbed with a crystal elephant um, in that movie. Like, he, that oh, was, I thought you meant like at Madison and <laughs> No, no, that might have happened. That, no, yeah. Madison and house was scary enough. Every time I went there, I thought one of his brothers was going to beat the shit out of me. Well, I do remember <laughs> when I was there, somebody, and it might have been one of his brothers, threw a VCR at Man and Daniel's face or something. Like a that. VCR, like not yeah. a cassette, the whole VCR. <laughs> Sorry, cassette, <laughs> not the play. Oh, okay, okay. No, sure. I was thinking like he must have been real mad just to go to rip out the fucking player. Yeah, because he was mad. Fuck it, at his brother. Wait, I'm sorry. I know we're going on a Man and Daniel tangent, but. Everyone in here has played hockey with him, and you all remember him coming down the block with a square wheel on his skate, like just like going hell like fast, like just like coming at like someone. He couldn't skate, and he was dude. Like, he was like Luis Mendoza, man. He didn't stop. He no, he didn't stop. Those square wheel, bro. His wheel was square, and he would just like fly His down the was... street. <laughs> uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're doing a, uh, yeah. a nostalgia test on Matt Antonio. Oh, my God. <laughs> he passes. Uh, I wish. But, like, unfortunately, what we're doing is... If anyone, if anyone does know how to get in contact with Matt Antonio, <laughs> let's, let's get him on this. Uh, but, he's, yeah. He's got to come on. He's, he's, he's like, I told you guys. <laughs> I told you all this. Dude, I haven't seen him in so long. Oh, my God. I know. All right. All right, let's, All right let's, switching let's, gears. So people, we're doing uh <laughs> Fax Man Dan over here. So the episode, us what... the episode we're doing. I'm, is... I, I want I'm excited. This is the first real life Fax Man Dan experience that I'm experiencing. So go ahead. I've I've been listening. I'm a well I'm I'm a huge fan, you know. So <laughs> one of seven. Thanks. <laughs> I'm the only one keeping you guys going, so I think you owe this to me. <laughs> I mean, I will say that killer clowns from outer space. <laughs> is first of all the imdb page only has a one line description for the movie <laughs> aliens who look like clowns come from outer space and terrorize a small town done nice. that's it i mean <laughs> there's not Short much more <laughs> there's not much Short dude if they actually t- told you more about this movie you wouldn't watch it so well, like you needed, I mean. you needed it to be short and sweet there Came really wasn't anything else there wasn't <laughs> anything else going on in that movie though no. that's the thing nothing, nothing else, else. We didn't know any of those people, any of their backgrounds. Who the, the fuck were any of those characters? Oh, we, we didn't know their full names. Just like yeah, they have people, full names. People now know Matt and Tanio. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Mike said. Tobacco. So, Mike why? Tobacco. He sounds like a porn star. Yeah. Well, Mike Tobacco with his girlfriend, Debbie Stone, are Debbie parked Stone. with other couples at the locals' lover's lane when they spot a strange glowing object fall on the earth. Nearby farmer Gene Green also spies the object and believing it to be Haley's Comet ventures into the woods to find the impact site. That's basically the whole thing. And then, first of all, though, this movie is 88 minutes long. But that's with Uh, all the credits. Eight minutes too long. It's about 80 minutes too long. (laughs) That could have been a short. Could have been an SNL short. How much money do you think it costs to make this movie? Um, I think I read it. $5,000. No, I think it was more than that. No, I'm sure it was a lot because, like, those costumes were kind of legit. I mean, they weren't though. I think <laughs> they spent <laughs> for the for the time. Oh, no, I agree. I like the I like when like people use real uh, real costumes and not CGI and stuff. So I like I like this co- the clown costumes. I thought they were cool, but I feel like they did a, they spent a lot on like promotion and, oh, uh, for bro. production. But. How no. much did they spend in? The movies cost one point eight million dollars. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> paid that much money for this movie. Seven thousand dollars of that movie went into creating the popcorn gun. Okay, and it took. What six was weeks. that, by the way? What did that even do? 
It shot no, that- popcorn. It and stuck that- to them, and then that was it. And but it made a whole big thing about this fucking popcorn. Like when they go into that lair, there's a little popcorn bubbly machine. What do you mean yeah. they turn into those monsters in the um in the the hamper and in the oh dumpster. yeah? Uh, uh, that's why I wanted to rewatch it. So this is a, this is actually a plot uh, hole in it, and I'll talk about that later on. But like yeah. Because, like, they're still, you know, even at the after the end, those things are still at the, that girl's house. Well, that's like, what I want to know. Like, where they, are they going? They did exactly. not die. And they're in the garbage dump <laughs> as well behind yeah. the, burger, the most depressing burger restaurant I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, that restaurant yeah. was just, like, everyone in there. Was, was that probably, supposed to be making fun of, like, Chuck E. Cheese? I don't even know what was going on there. Dude, everyone in there was having their last meal. Like, that's what it was. Like, they were going in there eating, and yeah. they were all going to die afterwards. Like, that, that was the worst. And that was the other scary moment. Did you say right? last meal, Ben? Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to rewind here, because we went on a, our normal tangent. We're, we're testing killer clowns from out of space. Yeah. Now, I I'm, gonna, I'm just going to relive my, my thought process of when I remember Steve bringing this up. I was <sighs> like, oh, my God. Cult classic. So bad it's good. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to see it. Wow, I was. <laughs> no, I mean, I thought I liked like I like B movies, but 80s C minus movies to almost a D, maybe even an F. I'm not even sure. An wow. F for fun. <laughs> no, this movie, this like, movie. was uh, when I put it on and that song <laughs> came on, I was just like, I need to find the band. That played this song. And yeah, I looked it up immediately. I was pumped. The Dickies punk yeah. band, the Dickies, and their EP "Killer Clowns from Outer Space." Like the EP "Killer Clowns from Outer Space." So there's a whole album dedicated to this nonsense at this point. Like amazing. This shit goes deep. This shit goes deep, and it shouldn't because this movie was, I mean, not even a movie. I don't even call it a movie. Like I wouldn't call it a movie. This this was like. I felt like this was like just a bunch of <laughs> high school people that just got together and was like, yo, you guys want to just like turn on my mom's camcorder and make a movie? And you're it like, it felt like, it felt like a high school project. Like yeah. we used to make back in high school, we used to like get the video cameras and go to Dave's house and make yeah. shit. Yeah. That's what this movie yeah. felt like. That's what this movie was. We could have done this in high school. It would have been way better too. It would have been way yeah. better. <laughs> this movie, first of all, the funny thing is to say that there's a bunch of high schoolers. There's two people in this film that are actually recognizable. Uh, three people. They're actually recognizable people. The president <clears throat> to the University of Animal House plays yeah. w- the cop. Mooney. Mooney. Boy. Fucking hates kids. Yeah. Why is he so angry? Why is he so mean? What's Dude, from this from saying, the start. <laughs> we don't know anything about the these characters. Yeah, like, oh, what's up, Mooney? There's no, this is why this movie should have been more than 88 minutes because there's no – you don't fall in love with any of the characters at all. Like, no. okay, Mooney, you're mad. You kind of look like a Bill Murray that got really fucked up and punched his <laughs> face. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> but, like, he was just mad. And, like, oh, yeah. he called those two punk people teens. None of these people were teens. Dude, they were, like, in their 30s. I want to know how old everyone in this movie was. Like because this was like watching Greece. Like yeah, the, yeah. The, the, like, <laughs> bunch of yeah. like twenty something year olds playing high school. Yeah. <laughs> but those two kids that he arrests, they're like, "What? Well, we were out. It was a beautiful what? night. We thought we would take a walk through the park with a <laughs> bottle of wine." I'm like, "Why are they? Dress- <laughs> Why are they dressed like punks? Then they're just like they should have suits <laughs> on, and they just been like, what? Like we well, can we go? We're just going to the college. Yeah, we just go to. And that guy goes, "Why don't you just keep drinking on campus?" I'm like. Who says that? <laughs> just gonna keep drinking on well, campus. We, we live in this town too. Like what? <laughs> we pay taxes. Wait, are too. you are you college students or what the what the fuck is going on? It was the most random encounter. Yeah, yeah it was encounter. like just a, it was just to show the audience, show us how much of a dickhead Mooney was. Yeah. And he was like the the bad cop, and this pretty yeah. boy was supposed to be like Dave, the good the guy, Dave, the guy who played Hunk. In that, have you ever have you ever seen that movie that no. he played? He was no. a star in. Are you making this up? Is that a no? Is this the movie in your head about this guy? No, <laughs> dude. <laughs> IMDb him, and you'll find it, Dan. This guy was in a movie called Hunk, and I once I saw him. Guys, I dreamt about this like, guy. Oh. <laughs> he was in a movie called Hunk. He was also in Baywatch. 
but, John Allen Nelson. But he was in a movie called Hunk, and it was just as bad and terrible as this movie. Well, I mean, the other person that was in this movie was the girl from Weird Science. Yeah, which I couldn't believe. Like, she was the actual, like, the woman they created in that movie, right? Like, no, no, no. no, no. She no, was no, no. the girl. She was the girls okay. that they were interested in, and they got at the end. Yeah. Like, the okay, popular that makes girls. more sense. Because, like, the, I was like, that chick had an accent or something. Yeah, no. Yeah. And then, if you notice, the two teens that got arrested that were drinking wine, I feel like they took the outfits from weird science those two the two dudes uh, <laughs> from robert the, downey jr uh, robert jr buddy. yeah robert Ju- downey jr and his buddy from weird science they basically were like give me that wardrobe we're gonna go make a movie next door that's what they did well that shows how little i know about that movie weird science because i don't remember robert downey jr being in that at all oh yeah man oh man he was the, yeah he was like their like arch i guess he was there like robin to not robin there he was like the joker to batman like they they needed like the opposite the joker. I, don't <laughs> I don't think anyone in weird science was like the joker because it would have been a way different movie <laughs> oh. Dude, that movie hunk I, I it's right here he played a guy named john allen okay. nelson played a guy called hunk golden oh, his name is hunk and yeah he, the the movies like Bradley Brinkman. First of all, all these movies that like are that were made for like garbage money. All the all the characters have terrible names. Bradley Brinkman. They're like softcore porns. That's what I was yeah. just gonna say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just an average they're, guy. They're like softcore porns without the porn. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. They're movie, like this is the plot line of a softcore porn, but yeah, we're not this, gonna put porn. This in. is a porn plot line. Hey guys, I got a great idea. <laughs> You got one point eight mil <laughs> clowns. Clown. Take out the porn. Raw Take out space. the sex. <laughs> we'll imply <laughs> the sex because we're gonna aim this movie for kids. Yeah. But as soon as I saw it was PG thirteen, I was like, oh boy, we're in for it now. The first oh, scene. Yeah. The first scene is like make out hill or whatever the top of the world. Top of the hill. Top that. of the world. That's and they're all the five inches away from each other. Like they're yeah, like really it was close. Like some kind of club what, or something. And you know that they were like. Making out on a raft? They were on that raft? Oh no, dude. In uh, the but car? I... What was that? And I was like, you know how annoying and rubbery that is? like it's so annoying. <laughs> you ever been on a raft like that? Like it's so annoying. When you're it's like, not in the water, it's the worst thing to sit you're in. You're making the car more uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like why did you have Icky. this raft? <laughs> when did you blow <laughs> that up? Sweaty. Like when did that idea come about where you're like, all right, we're going to make out hill, get the raft going. He, he pulls up. He pulls up to her house, like with the raft in the back. He's like, "Come on, come on, baby, get in. We're going to the top of the world." <laughs> be even better. She came with the raft. Like she walked out of the house with the raft under her arm. She's like, "He makes her. He I makes got her the come raft. with the raft." Yeah. yeah. yeah like, hey, they all like wine. Like they throw beer. Well, but they're. Oh, like, I want to rewind. I want to rewind real beer. quick though to the uh, yeah. to the beer. Did yeah. you notice the name of the beer that he was yeah. drinking yeah, when, in the first? It was called beer. Yeah. <laughs> I think it even had fucking quotation marks on it. I don't know. Yes. It, probably didn't, well, but. it did. did. Know- uh, I yeah. noticed that, Steve. I was like, I wrote that down on my notes. I was like, beer. Beer. <laughs> in quotation marks. <laughs> the best part was the guy that would walk past Mooney in the first scene. Yeah, who was that, that guy? Christopher that was Titus. a guy in the Jeep. That was a guy in the Jeep, and that was Christopher Titus. Comedian, oh shit! Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, I saw him in the credits, but I didn't know uh, which. I yeah. didn't recognize him in the movie. Yeah, now he this, was the guy in the jeep, and he was like, "Did you see that?" And then that girl, the girl, just wanted to make out with him. Yeah. yeah oh, that guy. guy. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they all die. And they all die. He doesn't like Mooney either. No, oh, no one likes Mooney. He wants to shoot everyone. He was Mooney doesn't like Mooney. He's he's a he, he's a <laughs> tortured soul. That's what that's what this whole movie is about. It's it's Mooney's <laughs> transition is. Search for self discovery. He, he right away he's like Ch- Mooney checking in here. It's, it's it's only a beginning of a Friday night. Like yes, like, he p- p- opens up a bottle of Jack and just starts ignoring phone calls what? of people dying, <laughs> just sitting in the fucking precinct getting hammered, smoking cigars. He's like I'll show them. I won't answer the phone call. <laughs> How did you get that job, Mooney? Is this was funny? Mooney retiring? Was this a cop retirement movie? I mean, I don't know. If he, I did, mean, the young kid, the young made. buck, young buck, you know, didn't want Manny's the Hulk, Hulk, Manny's Hulk, Manny's crush. 
<laughs> Dude, my favorite is a movie called the Mr. Police Academy. Is that <laughs> Police Academy? I was like, what? what happened? He wrote these. That movies. made me want to watch the Police Academy because it's a better movie than this. <laughs> All right. The, the trailer. So what about the Academy is better? What than about the um, the old man where, 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 and where? and Pooh Bear? Oh yeah, why did why was he like we're going to be rich? <laughs> <laughs> What was what was he gonna be people rich gonna about? The yeah, best is that nobody... hot dogs. It's like so you're yeah. gonna sell hot dogs. I'm like, did you build? <laughs> did you build the build the dreams? Like what's yeah. happening? I thought he was gonna go like harvest like moon rocks or comet rocks or whatever from trying to sell them or something. He was like the best was like nobody else spoke like him in the movie. No, right? one. this guy just like wanted it to sound like the most southern farmer in the land and he was the I, greatest character in the whole movie because he was character. the most he was the most like slapstick and cartoonish yeah it reminded me him, of like a like uh elmer fudd yeah it made him the most believable character in this movie <laughs> he, he was yeah he's, he's probably the, the best movie. actor in this movie like <laughs> oh, that's yeah. why he had that's, to, that's why he had to go early you know he was yeah. too good Oh, like up you cost story. too much money. Oh yeah, so we gotta guy, kill you off. They had that, that. That guy knew what this was about. He's like, all right, this movie's trash, but I'm gonna act the <laughs> shit out of this. So I'm, just gonna, I'm gonna go crazy. Like he, he was just like, it was. Like, this thing's <laughs> wired. <laughs> he brought that dog. Like that's his actual dog from home. Like so that, script, that dog's dead script, now, right? The script didn't call for a dog. He just. Like, <laughs> No. That was his artistic choice to bring in his own dog. And like he just brought it to the set and was like, this is happening. And they're like, oh, <laughs> yeah, we can't right. argue. We can't hey, argue. Whatever. We, we we don't have that much time, really. We probably shot that. I mean, <laughs> it seems like they shot that movie in a single night because the story was a single night. And I'm like, they definitely just did this in a single night. They, they yeah. Didn't wait at this oh, yeah. Like, each, at scene, each scene was definitely one take. It was like only four like settings in this movie oh okay we're talking about settings what was with the whole drugstore thing why were they in the drugstore at all thank just you like what thank the you. hell was that and it, and why was that guy not just running away he was like he was just like i would have gotten the fuck out of that town <laughs> second i like saw the first clown like after mike tobacco and debbie like see go inside the spaceship tent and they leave. I'd be like, all right, get in the car. We're the fuck out of it. We're getting out of here. Out of here. Out of here. <laughs> like, I don't care. I'm not going to try to save this town. This town we have to go to the cops. Yeah. What, Mooney? Everyone knows Mooney's a dick. Why would you yeah. want to go to Mooney? No, but that, this, is where, this is where the plot thickens, right? He's like, oh, I have a friend. <laughs> I have a friend on the force. Oh, Guess God. who that friend was? The old boyfriend. Dave. Of course. Dave. The hunk. Yeah, Dave. The hunk. <laughs> Baywatch. Hunk He's Golden, gonna come. but like that was the thing. Like it was so weird when she said that. I was like, "All right, all right." And this guy's super angry now that she's bringing her new boyfriend, Mike Tobacco. Yeah, Mike Tobacco, who has one of the most annoying voices of all yeah. time. <laughs> Holy shit! Who apparently gets in trouble a lot and loves like his like two friends who are just like Rich Paul. They're hey, hey the, Rich Paul. What were they called? The something twins. The Terenz, the Terenz, the Terenz, the brothers. The brothers. I have it written down, but I wrote it down. He wanted to sell ice cream to to people who to make get it checks. out to get to checks. Get checks. Dude, who like were sucking on the popsicles in certain ways? You're like, all right, yeah, I see it's, where you're going it. with this. We get it. Like, we get I think, it. yeah, I think if you if you took a, a like a community college level basic course in comedy sidekick tropes or in movies, <laughs> and then that course was taught by like. A kindergartner <laughs> that would be the tedeschi brothers the tedeschi <laughs> whoever wrote those two like what the fuck that could not have been any worse Terenzio. they were terrible and apparently they were like an improv group what that went around yeah they like went around like those two actors well the one guy looked kind of familiar but dude, I he kind of looked like the guy from one one of the characters who played like the comic relief in greece all right but who, he who are those guys dan come on they okay. weren't first of all I'm gonna, I'm gonna look them up but i'm gonna tell you this that those two guys it, it's like they got two guys from like the bowery in new york <laughs> and they were just like all right place them here in potsdam 
I mean, that's what it looked like we were at. I mean, I have no idea where these. Okay, so we got Michael Siegel. Michael Siegel and Peter Lacazzi. Yeah. Oh shit! Michael Siegel is from Silver Spring, Maryland. Yeah. There we go. Acting career, blah blah blah. I don't recognize him. This guy's headshot is a like it's like someone drew it with a pilot pen. <laughs> All right, he's only got three credits, so I don't know what what I mean. They were in Cheese Ball Presents, I guess. Is that their thing? Yeah. But um, yeah, I, I think no one in this movie was famous at all. So, do you think they wanted to make this movie funny or? So I've been wondering. Spooky. I've been wondering that myself because, like, there were a few campy moments, but like, I don't think there were enough to like consider it like they were making fun of themselves or like not taking themselves seriously. It almost seemed like they were trying to be a serious, scary movie. Like, do you think they were... See, I thought they were trying to, like, emulate, like, the blob. Hmm. No, because even the clowns moved as slow as the blob. And people were like, oh, there's clowns. Like, <laughs> this movie was just ridiculous. That's like, how do, how do you... <laughs> that old guy, again, going back to that old guy, I was just like, run out the back door. This is a pharmacy. You're behind. There's a door back there. I know. This, like, what run were the they doing up. there? What yeah, were they doing all, there? They, like, when the, the, okay, I want to say like the one scene where like the two <laughs> kids get away from the, the spaceship. Tank. Can we just talk about the spaceship right there when you mentioned that? The set of the spaceship was awesome. <laughs> That's where $1.8 million went. After the top one done. It reminded me of Qzar. Oh yeah. oh yeah, remember Qzar? Right, Fuck yeah, that's what it reminded me of. Hell yeah! I'm like this. This is like Qzar. Good that call. shit was great, dude. For anyone that doesn't know what Qzar is, it's laser tag. I mean, like get with it. Was it was the original man. That was good. But we, <laughs> you were talking the about shit. the popcorn gun. Those guns look like Bop It, like the game Bop It. Like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And that's the thing. Everyone stared at it. If something like that is near you and then they point what looks like a gun at you start running yeah get the fuck yeah. out of there leave and they, everything that they did was like it turned into a top like well they yeah. just like when they died they spun when people yeah. died, spun into a thing so well, like i remember thinking that was a thing when i was a kid about them being tops or something but the, i mean that's kid logic but this movie's <laughs> also that stupid but I wanted to so, know when you go into cotton candy, like does it does it just like melt you? Yeah, it like they, makes oh, you like, like turn die. into like blood, so you can be like. So they they drink you through one of them crazy straws. Crazy straws. Oh my god! Bro. I wanted a straw like that. So that was a crazy ass straw, man. That was That's a crazy forever. Straw. Do you know how much sucking capacity you would need to be able to get? Oh, you need some all that liquid. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You have to get like a vacuum to start that first. Oh yeah, these, but, these crazy clowns, man. But that's what was supposed to be scary. Like he like stabbed them and then like drank whatever was. Yeah, but you there. only you only saw that at the end. Oh like, yeah, you know we're just they're already chasing them. Yeah. Like, so getting yeah. back, so getting back to when they like went into the town. <laughs> okay, right? we're jumping to the end here. Yeah. So they, well, this they, is what happens here. They waddle. I know I'm your biggest fan. I <laughs> So they waddle into the town. There's a sign that says five miles to the town. They're walking about an eighth of a mile per hour. <laughs> like they would have gotten there at dawn. Yeah, but you, right? what about the next scene where the guy's driving his fake car? A, a car, yeah. Right? So the clown is can be a fake car, but yet he can't take a fake car into town? They, they waddle into town? Jump really high. Like Yeah, that they, one little guy jumps really high. Oh, and that scene with the bikers, that one biker, the African American dude, is listed in the credits as black biker. Oh my He's the only God. black biker there. He's, He's the only black person in the, in the movie. Okay. Yeah, he is. And yeah. that should have been like only black person in this movie. In the line in that movie, in that scene where the guy gets his head punched off. Okay. Oh and yeah. His line, next line is damn. And then <laughs> I was like, come on, really? Like, we're doing, like, all right, 1988. Like, yeah. I mean, yeah, shit was wild back then. Yeah, but I mean. Black biker. Black biker. God. I mean. Dude, but that was the thing. Like, the scenes, none none of them aligned. This town was weird. It was just like a, a mishmash of just random shit. 
Yeah, yeah, like that scene in front of the drugstore where the one clown walks up and there's this like automated panda thing happening. Yeah. And so he tries to do the same to like blend in and pretend he's not like <laughs> yeah. this. Like, how does that any any more normal? Like, what did he just, like he's this alien killer clown? <laughs> the thing is, is like, why does he need to be normal? And why? He can yeah, kill like, them. They went there he to kill just, people. He could literally just like gun everybody that screams so he, and runs. So he away. was the rogue. Slim was the rogue. I'm gonna call him Slim. Slim. Oh, I was he like, was he has rogue. a name. No, <laughs> okay. I don't know. Like, he was That's addicted to shopping products. Yeah, he was the rogue. So he wanted to just go fuck around in that drugstore and not get yeah. caught by anyone else. And just but be for a long time, like yeah, he was. He was just there, like knocking things. Like <laughs> That's his, all like, he was doing. He just liked to do this. See, like he was, he was knocking just... things over, and then the owner was just <laughs> <laughs> for like twenty minutes. It like seemed like <laughs> you're like. <laughs> It kept going back, like Mooney's ignoring calls, and he's just like, oh, oh, Mooney's ignoring calls. Oh. He's getting, Mike Tobacco's just trying to get laid. Dave's trying to get his girl back. And Debbie. This shopkeep- and De- Debbie. The worst name. I, I, there's something wrong. I, I, every, when I Who? heard that name, it, Debbie, when I heard that name in the, just the way it's just like, Debbie. It's just like, De- yeah, first of all, why does she have time to go home and take a shower? And when she gets out of the shower, she's like fully dressed in the Thank you, see. She's got like you. jeans and a, and a sweater on. First earrings all, on. She, first of all, when she was going to get in the shower. Where is she going? She has the most clothing on still. Like, when she's in the She's wearing one of those things that you see in like one of those like parody films about like, you know, it's cold and like long johns. But like, just like, it looked, yeah. crazy. It looked like she was in a cult. And I was just like, what is she wearing? And then she gets in the shower. She comes out of the shower. Next scene, she's fully, fully dressed. dressed. She's got a shirt on, a sweater on top of the shirt, jeans, leg warmers, shoes on in yeah. the bathroom. Who yeah. put sneakers on in the bathroom? Her like hair was dry and done and stuff. Like no towel yeah, or, or did she have a towel? I don't think so. And no. then she gets the towel. No, yeah, she did. I thought she was like going like this, and that's when like because she threw. I don't know. I don't know. She got dressed fully. No, dressed. she was spraying. She was hairspraying her hair. That's what. No, I don't. I don't even but, know. But that scene got, was ridiculous. She got attacked. like, why are you taking a shower? You. I was thinking like, oh, they're gonna show like body, you know. But then I was like, it's PG thirteen. They're not gonna show that. They're not like, gonna show yeah. anything. You know, like so. Why do they even need to have a shower scene? Because they have to at least go. There's some horniness in this film, I guess, and they're like, "There was saving it. There was saving it all. There was saving it all for the end with that obscene boob enlargement clown." What? <laughs> what? what? What's that? Those girls, cl- those girl clowns. Like, <laughs> what was that? The one computer graphic mo- thing was like the zoom in on the popcorn on the floor. They were like slowly moving. Oh yeah. Oh. How did she not see that? The worst. Sound like she was ever. like shaking them off. Like you don't feel them moving. That's where at least like half a mil went. Yeah. <laughs> to make that pop for that like, little for like two seconds of the little popcorn going like this, <laughs> like to to snail across the. Yeah. Can well, I just go back to the drugstore thing for a second? Absolutely, because um, that was the ridiculous scene, and I was like, all they're I, doing is this. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to just say this, like. These killer clowns were watching it for Halloween. We're watching it like in October for the spooky season. And then, but I'm nothing thinking, spooky about this movie. Is this supposed no. to be close to Halloween in this town? Because if it's not, and I see this grotesque, murderous yeah. looking clown in front of a store, I'm going to be like, we're not going in that store. Yeah. And I'm turning around. I'm getting the hell out of there. Run away. It's like, it's, it's September. Why is this here? <laughs> like, I don't know what month it is. Like, it's not Halloween. Is that like a normal thing in that town where like weird people would dress up in weird costumes and just wander around the town? Maybe that they were really, maybe the circus comes to that. Maybe town. that's why Mooney's so hard on those college kids because like they're uh, always up to weird antics. Yeah, and the town also has a, a huge area where a circus and fair are all of a sudden on like, the yeah, edge of a the tent just moves pier, like or whatever like not even a pier on the edge of a cliff somewhere like the way it looked like they were <laughs> driving on like the pacific coast highway and then wait, like all of a sudden it's like a fair in the distance yeah. and how did they how did they hide how did they move the tent and bring it there oh, bro man. i don't know because i'm still trying to figure out how far from town that fair is because the town, like, how big is this place? Yeah. The they town? 
Yeah, I mean, it's got a biker area. It's got a whole. <laughs> it's got a drugstore. It's got drug a college. Store. It has There's a college. college. Yeah, yeah, is this Ithaca? Is that where we are? Because I was. We like might be in Ithaca. You know, they used like, to do. They used to film a lot in Ithaca, so uh, that might be Ithaca. Mm. So the and that one scene at I think it was like a bus stop where the one clown is doing like shadow puppets. Yeah, remind me of Pee Wee Herman. And everyone's like, oh, this yeah. maniacal looking insane clown. Yeah. Like, run. dude, run away. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Dan, I think there was another black gentleman in that in that scene as well. Yeah. Because I think he's not impressed at first. He's like, what the hell is it? He's <laughs> yeah, trying, right. he's trying yeah. to get with the two girls. Yeah. One and of the dudes like, says boo, I think. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. My favorite boo. character in the whole film. Like, he does. He's like, he's just sitting. He's like, boo. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ultimately like immediately my favorite character that guy just had one line he came in that day like, all right your line's boo all right go like, and why boo. why is it that dave is not letting mike shoot the clown he's like wait 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 we gotta see what happens like no you I want let... them to see you just want them to well no freaking dave, kill people dave doesn't want to shoot him right away but what's funny is when they pull up and mike goes that's one of them Kill him! Like shoot him right now. Yeah. Like, <laughs> there's people there. He's just gonna take a gun and it's like <laughs> it's just like we don't yeah. have a good because shot it's now. killer clown from outer space. Did he kill somebody? Did he kill a clown yet at that point? No, he didn't. No, I don't think he so. only finds that out when he when he goes to the station being in the station. Okay. Yeah, and that, that, that was like weird ass. Footprints all over the wall. Oh, okay. God, what the fuck? All right. Do we, we want to get to that? Because we're, we're, can I just for, ask a question? As, you know what's good about this thing? I don't even want to. Who? Phil Lombardo. Oh, he brought no, up Phil Lombardo. Phil Lombardo. Time. That name is said from the beginning of the film all the way through to like the middle. And I'm like, who is this character? He is the guy that crashes that car and it explodes. Yes. That's Joe Lombardo. But this. Yeah, I don't remember that. but the entire time they're like, "Yo, uh, Joe Lombardo, something like this." I'm like, "Who is this character?" Was that yeah. Titus? But they no. messed that up, Dan, because so I read that that scene with the car was supposed to be first, oh. and then and then they would see Phil Lombardo because remember Lombardo. when he ripped the face off of the when he ripped the Joe, uh, not Phil Joe, but when he <laughs> ripped the cotton candy and he saw him, and that's when they ran. Yes. So yeah. the, yes. the scene wasn't shot in the right order because oh. that was supposed to be like, we can't find Joe Lombardo. You know, mm-hmm. that was supposed to be him. So, oh, I see. And oh, I want to know, like, are these people like, they must be college kids, I guess. I guess. And I guess. They are, everyone knows each other? Well, it's a know, weird town. Was Debbie living in like a... Ooh, like it's called off-campus. Crescent Cove. Yeah. Was okay. Debbie living in like an off-campus housing? For like, because I was like, does she have parents? Like, I don't know. Because they said, oh, it's why I think. And I'm like, who? That's why they're in college. This was like Adam House era. Well. Era. Yeah, I mean. Era. 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 (laughs) (laughs) So I'm okay with not like doing this episode where we go from start to beginning because it doesn't matter because it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it was all there was no there was no timeline to this because look like we're back to the drugstore the other the other little guy shows up like like and then he starts playing with like powder and they're like joking around about sneezing and doing clown things so like are they just like (laughs) killer clowns that still do clown things yeah that's i was wondering the same like are they are they alien clowns or they are they like clown aliens you know what I mean? Oh. Ooh. You know what I mean? Because they still right. act. Are they like clowns? clowns? Yeah. That's are they, I, which one are they for? How do they identify themselves? Is what I really oh, want to know. Well, see, well, we they still do assume. clown things, right? Yeah. Do they want to be clowns? Maybe they think like murdering people is like funny clown stuff. Well, you remember in it, like he really wasn't a clown. He was an entity that like then took up the fear or some sort of image. So then yeah. I was thinking like, okay. Maybe they're not really clowns, but they're like, this is the this is something that people will trust. So we're gonna Yeah, be maybe, clowns. yeah. But also right. they look okay. like crazy crystal meth addicts that like have like <laughs> they like, melted. Yeah, I'm not gonna trust that clown. You said it like anything. It was like Beetlejuice no. like uh special effects like <laughs> if the, that, that was crazy, man. If a, if a clown about, was walking down the street like that, I'm not gonna go dude, I'm, I'm not gonna go anywhere near it. No. Yeah. yeah. 
No. Yeah. I like the little guy. I thought he was my favorite character. In the, and I didn't realize how many clowns there were a until lot. they all started walking. And like all of a sudden there's a clown car. And let's not forget that he makes a dog oh that starts chasing it starts, Yeah, it like turns into an actual... Like dog. everything had to be like, let's be so clowny. It's, it's very clownish. It's, I think they're, I don't know, man. I think they're clowns first. But that's the problem. They're clowns first, I think so. <laughs> they definitely are a spirit of clown. Like, they throw, They have, like, acid-melting pies. So which, for some reason, didn't pie. melt at the yeah, end. Yeah, at the end. What? I'm yeah. like, why no. are we happy about that? They died. Those three died at the end. Well, well I, I thought, hope so, because they were annoying as shit. <laughs> yeah, I thought that was a joke on the audience. Where it was just like, okay, you got to the end. Now, this is it was very symbolic. It was like pie in the face. It was like, oh, I get it. This is a yeah, joke. Because he's like, is it over? And like, pie is in the it face. Over? It's like, whole, fuck yourself. That whole like ending sequence was so annoying. I, bro, from, it was terrible. Oh God. I mean, Dude, this, not, nothing made sense. Where was that giant hall they ended up in? How did the clown did, car survive that? How did the Tedeschi brothers get in the clown car with Hunk? You know what I'm saying? Like, how did they all end up in that car? It lands in one piece. Because it's a space car. That ice cream truck exploded. It didn't just exploded. <laughs> it, 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 it exploded. To point where I was just like, just no one's. They exploded. went in the fridge, bro. Yeah, oh yeah, oh, like Indiana Jones and the Crystal Skull. They had, yeah. yeah. Oh god. Oh, <laughs> he survived. Little, it. How do they survive? Fact, refrigerators can shield from every fucking thing in the world. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. in a movie, it saves your life for everything. Yeah, yeah, just empty you, your refrigerator you, out. Jump in there. You'll be fine. Like you'll be fine. Survive the nuclear holocaust. Bear attacks. <laughs> if you go in the water, it'll float. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Just that's stay that's in a fridge. Yeah, definitely. You're like, I mean, you didn't know that? <laughs> COVID can't get you. No. It's fine. Oh my Fuck God. mask. Just use fridge. You should walk. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> use a fridge. I, I thought Deb, Debbie was, because her name was the Debbie, worst actress. Science, she wasn't good. Uh, but she was. <laughs> was she this was, after or before Weird Science? After Weird Science. Weird Science this is 1985. Oh. And then she never played, got a gig again. No, she was on Seinfeld. She was on an episode of Seinfeld. She played the. Um, Remember when George and Jerry like get the limo from the airport by like uh, saying they're someone, but they're not, and then they end up bringing them to like some uh, um, Nazi rally at Madison Square Garden. She's in the limo in that episode. She's like a Nazi. <laughs> okay. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Now she's a yoga teacher. Huh. Well, listen. Let's let's oh, let's try to focus. I here. thought. What about the scene dumb. where they're in the hallway? In the I mean, in the now they're in a parade. They're having a clown parade. And they're scooping people up yeah, they're scooping in this. Up the cocoons. Oh, can we talk about the, the amount of times the word cocoon was set in this fucking movie? Cocoon. More than the movie cocoon. <laughs> <laughs> that is very true. They look like they, they're, they're in these cotton candy cocoons. Cocoons? Yeah, cocoons. 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 <laughs> <laughs> they looked like pink testicles as they were. I thought they looked like pink <laughs> light bulbs. <laughs> I thought they looked like light bulbs. They had the, the like the top. Oh like yeah, it. they definitely like, weren't big enough to house a, an adult human. No, they shrunk when all. they shot it, and it was like the person, and then the image after is like clank, and I was like, yeah. I didn't have enough. And why did some people. humans like get into balloons and others? Oh my god! Well, because some. I gotta talk are... about this fucking balloon. What when, when she's in that balloon, right? They take her and they take her to the ship, or whatever. Mike and uh, whatever hunk come in. <laughs> they find her. They popped a balloon. Oh what is the first thing that she says? <sighs> I couldn't breathe in there. Bitch, it's been like 20 minutes. <laughs> what? <laughs> you should be dead then. If you, you should be breathe. dead 10 times over. <laughs> couldn't breathe. You, there would be no balloon. It would be sucked in around her body like a vacuum, <laughs> like a vacuum bag. She sucked all the oxygen. I couldn't breathe. It would have been I funny. Was like, what? No. Would wait, have been wait, funny wait, wait. is yeah, if okay. she was speaking in a high pitched voice, as if she was like inhaling was helium the whole helium time. The whole time. <laughs> oh, that, they missed an opportunity on that one. They definitely missed. Yeah. An but my favorite, my question about that whole scene, though, Steve, is this: like, she's in the balloon. And then Hunk goes, tells Mike Tobacco to step back. 
because he takes a gun and <laughs> <to> pop the <laughs> He shoots the balloon with a gun. Now, my question is this. When he, he tells Mike Tobacco to move, he didn't really move. So Mike Tobacco should have gotten shot. Oh, that's right. Where he was like, bullet go? It just like, <laughs> the bullet first of all, I was like, is this bullet going to hit like seven other balloons? And why are we not trying to save all these other balloons? No, it's too late. That's why. Dude, it's they late. didn't give a shit about anybody else. Nobody. No, nope. but did you hear Dave did actually say at, right before they go into like yeah. the elevator that he's like, wait, there might be people in the balloons. And they're like, and uh, Mike Tobacco, I think it's like, there's no time. There's no time. There's <laughs> yeah, no there's time. no time because we have no idea where we are. We're going to wander around some like spaceship I've never Fuse been. Are. They're going we're deeper the- and deeper into <clears throat> it. And at one point, they're like, here's a pole. Where should we go? Let's just go down. Let's there. just slide down this death pole. Yeah. yeah, let's go what if, into a fish's head. Don't and go what in. was it? That was from like Don't Beetlejuice. They it. took yeah. that from like the oh, Beetlejuice, Worms, Worms, too, yeah. Star Wars, Beetlejuice type shit. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. then they're like, let's. And that was weird because that was like, let's have them walk through other balloons that they have to kick up, and then that was it. That, like, nothing else was happening in that snake. Like, are those balloons dangerous? <clears throat> yeah, that that weird snake that they walked through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, what you're, ta- that's what you're talking about. Okay, yeah. yeah. What, what there was nothing, it was just like it was oh, just I there kick balloons up yeah and they didn't even floating. necessarily it seemed like they could have just walked around it oh yeah. don't go <laughs> in there find what? another way out of there don't go into the go hmm, should we keep finding a place or here's something that looks like it's going to eat me let's go in there let's go in there go in there because yeah. it looks like there's one way in and one way out they might have That's balloons let's go find out and yeah. like the brothers made out with these other two women clowns that had huge tits, of course just they. to for what did they? And they the girls didn't want to kill them. The clowns, those yeah, cl- like who were those? The women, the <laughs> who were those women clowns? They don't kill. No, they just no. I guess they, they just make out. Because remember, they said humans. they had they were into like huge tits. Yeah. So and the clowns just. <laughs> massive so they had and should the end like he goes are you debbie's roommates like <laughs> did they did they actually believe the clowns were the roommates maybe like those Bro, guys were kind guys, of dumb. they were the dumbest people on the planet can we talk about these guys for a while now yeah, yeah. Here? <laughs> sure. what, what is the deal with the Tedeschi brothers, what is going on there? Well, let's like, what is their name? Tered, Tered. Yeah. First of all, Tered. Rich and Tered. Paul. We know their names are Rich and Paul oh, because and every Paul. time Dave sees them, he goes, "Rich Paul, <laughs> Rich Paul." Oh, Mike Tobacco. Yeah, Mike. Mike. Keep Mike mixing up Mike Tobacco and Hunk there, like. And Hulk? Dave matter. Hunk is Dave, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> rich Paul, and it's like in the beginning when they're on the top of the world, the Rich Paul, yeah. Rich Paul show up, and Mike's, Mike's like, "Oh, that's my. Those are my friends, Rich and Paul." Yeah, yeah, what are those guys doing they're here? They're a riot. They, they're an adventure. Every time I hang out, every time we hang out, having a adventure. Was that supposed to be like a setup to the movie? Like this movie was supposed to kind of be uh, set around like Rich and Paul, and like, well, they were driving the ice cream with the. This the, night was like kind of yeah. They had something to do with it. I'm, I don't know. I think what know. happened was they probably ran out of money after they built the gun that shot the popcorn, and they were like, "We have to drop this whole Rich and Paul storyline because we have to get that ice cream truck back soon." Because like, the truck just... with the worst suspension ever of any vehicle oh ever, <laughs> it was just like <laughs> wobbling down the road like the fucking clowns do. So first of all, Rich and Paul. Let's let's go back in the backstory here. Those two just wanted to make, they were hustling to make some money and to get some ass, right? Yeah, that's Cause, that's that's because they're like, oh, let's sell ice cream, and it wasn't even like summer. So why are you selling? Yeah, what? Why are you slinging ice wearing, cream? Everyone's wearing is this. Everyone's wearing jackets. Dude, What's her name's tobacco. wearing? Wearing seven different layers of clothing. Mike Tabasco Tabasco <laughs> has like a fucking. A, a fucking sweater vest on. He like had a sweater on shit. and a button down shirt underneath yeah. it the whole time. He was just sweating his ass off. Those two actually have like outfits like they, they didn't just rent that ice cream machine. They got a whole outfit going on. Yeah. And all to get those two girls to be in the back. They're just hanging out in the back of this in the cooler? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't right? know. And who who sells ice cream at night? Like what ice cream trucks do you see at night ever? And this is ice cream they're gonna kiss Oh my god! We're taking that. We're taking that. Name. Kidnap. 
I shouldn't have said his name. <laughs> no, you're on a list now, man. <laughs> you're on a <laughs> list like an now. Editing note right there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, the man who shall not be named. This is like his kind of idea. Like, let's get him. Uh, an ice, ice cream, cream truck, truck to like rip people off and get ass yeah sure. yeah it's that perfect yeah that's yeah, that's exactly but is they he did... a, is he a co-writer was he a was he a consultant <laughs> on this film yeah <laughs> so they got the ice cream thing somehow do you remember that they lost control of the ice cream truck yeah and it was driving itself yes in one of the scenes that was when Dave had to go back to the police station because oh, Mo, right. Mo, Mo yeah, yeah. what's his name, wasn't answering any phone calls. And and Mike's like, I got to go be with the brothers, man. Like, I got to go yeah. be with my friends. Yeah. Yeah. And then, what, and how, then they, go, they, they go to Debbie. They, they go to Debbie's place. Yeah. Yeah. Which it but, seems like it takes a thousand years to get to Debbie's place. Yeah. Well, it's that shitty ass truck. And it's, uh, this town is all spread out. This is like an upstate town. A sprawling that's like, town. Yeah. yeah. It's a but, hill town carnival on the side of a cliff yeah exactly yeah, yeah. but plus debbie's wearing a smock over whatever she's wearing and she, <laughs> she fuck debbie like, she, debbie sucks dude <laughs> and the, but those and two they, brothers how old do you think the, they were like they look like 35 yeah even they, like, look, <laughs> they look like me and steve want to have an ice cream machine yeah. truck right now <laughs> and if, if an ice cream truck is coming up to like the top Jojo. of the world which is like Jojo. the first name ever. Like, hey, let's go to the top of the world. The top like, of the world. Okay. And then this ice cream truck comes. I'm starting my car. I'm deflating my raft. And I'm getting the fuck <laughs> out of there. Because I don't know what this ice cream truck is there for. It has the loudest microphone. And when they were talking into the microphone, that was all ADR. Like, that was all voice. Like, they, he was not yeah. saying those words. Like, at yeah, all. Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't syncing up correctly. So he was like, <laughs> saying words and his mouth was just moving i was like oh. god looks like a skeleton when he comes out of it there was one point where i forget what it was but it was rich and paul and like they <laughs> they got excited about something and they like twiddled each other's nipples they're yes. like hee, hee, hee. they like tickled each other's <laughs> yeah like what Are you, i must have been that was that, that was, was when whole... yeah that was when uh when mike said debbie had roommates Oh, that's right. Yeah. They wouldn't go save they Debbie from a killer Debbie. clown without yeah. the fact that there was big titted roommates. Yes. But see, but that's the thing about Rich and Paul. They <laughs> don't give a shit about anything. Things are happening. Here's the thing about Rich and Paul. Like, Wait a second. Wait a second. We're going to go save Debbie. Here's the thing, though. Does she have roommates? Yeah. The All they care about is from ass. Alien All they clown. care about is getting that sweet yeah. booty. And well, yes. they ended up getting it, but I mean... In a ball pit, which of course it was a ball pit in this movie. If I left this movie without a ball pit, I was going to be pissed off if there was going to be no ball. Dude, pit. they had every cliche of being in the circus with the clown. So yeah. I'm, look, I'm looking at some stills from the movie now. The <laughs> Slim, who went to the drugstore, he he goes up to the counter. He's got up a, a handful of like vitamins, like yeah, Flintstone vitamins, Bugs Bunny extra C vitamin. There's Alka Seltzers. And like it looks like chapstick, and like but a, he's so excited to like take the shelves apart. What he is, goes, uh, do they need those for anything? I still need to make sense of this drugstore scene. But the best though <laughs> is he goes to pay for as if he's gonna give the guy at the drugstore money to pay for this shit. Like, why is the guy still there? Is it's I don't, I don't know. Yeah, there is no sense, Steve. I think There's it's no just. Sense. Like, let's put, I mean, how do you pitch that scene? Dude, how do you pitch this movie? How do you pitch anything? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Some trivia. I guess I, at this it. point. If, I go fucking ahead. knew it. I fucking knew it. Hardcore rapper, rap group, the Insane Clown Posse, sampled dialogue from this film for the sale oh. on their 2020 Joker's card album, The Rape, Shangri-La. That, I, I was sitting there going like, the insane clown posse must have been like created from this somehow. Like these yeah. two dummies saw mm -hmm. this shit, and they're like, "Great idea! Now <laughs> let's just make it Christian and not tell anyone until our last album or something." But yeah, I knew it. Oh, I fucking knew it. I knew it was insane clown posse was involved <sighs> somehow. They should Dude, do this a town even has a bad downtown with the bikes hanging out. There's graffiti everywhere. Downtown. Yeah. The dudes wearing a yeah. 
There's no downtown. That I mean, downtown, this is- there's a back door that those bikers hung out in. And then there was the most depressing burger shop of all time where that little girl almost gets kidnapped Dude, by the clown. That, yeah. What is with that? Okay. Going back to the fact that, like, none of these characters had any context whatsoever. Like, that yeah. scene at the burger joint, I wrote it down because it was like, they, uh, something like it is if you're the winners like the the two moms were like bickering about it about something like this these don't taste that good oh they taste good if you're the winner or something like that what was that like the winners of what it was this what the fuck who are you people like yeah what is that (laughs) makes no sense i don't understand where big top but dude it looked like a bathroom with a couple tables in it and they were like eating burgers in it and then that little girl it's called big top burger right but like okay i don't know that's (laughs) that's <laughs> I'm watching the scene First right all, now. This is the creepiest scene. This is one of the creepiest scenes it, in the movie. Didn't Mooney come out of there with a coffee mug, like with coffee in it? Is that the same place? <laughs> there's only one place the, to eat in this place. This town sucks. It's the only one restaurant. There's Dude, one this back to the bar. There's one drugstore. And you know, there's one fair, there's one place to make out, and then there's Debbie's house. And then that's it. Yeah, and that's it. Okay, yeah. so here's my thing. The kid's getting mesmerized by this clown. She's happy about seeing this really bad-looking clown, which kind of looks like a porcelain clown. Yeah, like what? How does the mother not see the clown waving the kid over? Bro, that I at that point I was like, okay, we're about to get into the horror part of the film. That would have been awesome if they killed. She killed the kid right in front of the mother. Why not? Kill someone and then start shooting everybody. Yeah, yeah, I do something. One guy gets his head punched off, and this high, and then everyone else is in cotton candy and balloons. Like, who gives a shit? They had a chance to kill a child with a hammer, and they didn't take it. <laughs> they didn't take it. But that's this movie. It's like the, the <laughs> Chiodo brothers, dude. What they yeah. could have actually yeah. done, they could have done because it didn't matter. No, they could have just had the clown. Have the hammer expand so big that he crushes the big top burger joint ah, with the hammer, and you would have just been like, "Yeah, yeah," or use the shadow puppets and eat the little girl with the shadow puppets. No, because the hammer thing is like you know the joke about you know, you know that yeah. game that fucking ding. Like yeah. they could have done so much. Let's yeah. rewrite this movie. Like the, I'm gonna get a Google Doc started right now, and we'll just start rewriting <laughs> just, this entire film. But like that part, so that was, but that was the creepy scene with the oh, the, the, the super creepy. And then the mom comes out and says, like, "Come back in, same... I need your burger." And he goes, <laughs> <laughs> "Yeah." And then she and just that was like, it. Dude, every away. every noise, every noise, and like laugh that they made was just like hard. Like there was no consistency in like the noises that these clowns made. No, yeah, sometimes they talked. Yeah, sometimes yeah. they said some words, and then other times they were just like. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We're doing some right. sort of alien language, and then other times it was like, rah, 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 rah. yeah. Sometimes they could take people's voices. Like it was like, what do they have power? No, they took Muni's voice because. Oh yeah, they they mimicked uh, Mike to back to back to back. Oh, Mike tobacco. <laughs> worst name ever. Why would you? Why give anyone last names in this film? Is beyond me. Like that guy's yeah. name is Mike. Why like? All right, Mike Tobacco. It's just like, why does the character have a last? Because name? like like Steve said, this is a softcore porn. Because why why would you need last names? Yeah. Oh so the guy that was at Big Top was he oh the same gosh. clown that was at the play, at, at the police station? I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm going through it right now. It's <laughs> possible, but I will say the scene in the police station was the only scary scene in the entire film. That that scene was really. It was good. terrifying. Terrifying. Okay. Pause. I'm watching the scene when Debbie gets home and she's in that college off ca- campus house. There's a couple just walking by the house. Normal. So no one knows about Killer Clowns yet. No. And she's there. That's right. How are they just not telling everybody? Why is she taking this a shower? Stupid. You mean she's just she's just home, like not alerting people of the clowns? No, she's taking a shower. Why are you taking a shower? There's killer clowns. They get yeah, like, what are you doing? Out. And then she gets dressed. And then she gets dressed, like, fully clothed. I, that scene makes no sense. At home. 
That scene makes no sense. I don't need to take a shower. So many of these scenes make no sense. None of these scenes make sense. This movie is maddening. It took forever for me to watch it. (laughs) And I literally just... Hold on, hang on. I I, I hate this movie. Okay. This this isn't (laughs) as fun as it used to be. And then the other woman, woman says, it is if you're the winners. That's it. No context yeah. whatsoever. Who are these people? Yeah, who is this little girl? <laughs> they basically gonna be like, oh, no, it wasn't fun as it used to be. It's like, oh yeah, especially after we hit that guy with the car last night, or like it's just something- yeah, done. Scene over. Yeah, <laughs> you know, no explanation. Oh. Yeah, yeah you know. anything. I'm really tired after all that digging. Yeah, me too. What? Like, what happened? <laughs> I can't believe you just hit him and kept going. I was like, what? were we just in a casino? Did they think they were at a casino? I'm not really sure. This, what is it? What is this? Isn't as fun as it used to be, I mean. But that like, they're at Big Top, bro. Obviously. Oh, that's probably it. No, but it said it is if you were the winner. But you don't win you at win a at circus. Top. They're not, they're just, it's not a, a cir- they're in a, like a shitty burger joint, though. What <laughs> yeah. is there to win at? And there's nothing to win at a circus when you go to a circus. No one wins at a circus. You go there, you watch. No, circus. everyone loses. <laughs> everyone Just like being in a casino. <laughs> everyone loses. So, like, when she said that, I was like, what? Like, my brain stopped. But then, then that kid is walking out there to the clown, and I'm to so the like, creepiest one of the creepier ones. One are they all creepy looking? Are they parents? Like are those? Are like should those are both her moms or her mom oh, no. and like her mom's sister? Or I see it as like they yeah, like kidnap two. her. Like is she <laughs> a kidnap victim? And like she, she might like, be. I got the fuck out of that's here. That's gonna be another movie. Maybe like maybe, like, maybe that's why the one she, the the woman who like was watching her was the losers because she like had to watch that kid. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is actually it's not, it's not as fun having to watch this little bratty fucking kid. Yeah, I wish yeah, I could be right for me. Yeah, I want to write the chain letter. <laughs> Cut the letters out for the defense note. Oh, that's way more fun. Yeah. Like I, I just didn't get that part and nothing happened. That scene ended and it what? just ended and nothing and you never see those characters again. No, they vanish. It's over. Yeah. No, you you, we assume they die. I mean, we assume basically the whole town dies. Okay, yeah, because there's a scene where they start collecting all of them. Yeah. But that's my question. So Mike Tobacco, Dave, and Debbie, and Rich and Paul all all live at the end. They're like spoilers for this fucking garbage. Everyone else is dead. That's why. Right. Where are they going back to? Yeah. Nothing. Are they like, back home? There's no one there. <laughs> They're all exploded. Yeah. Every person from that town is dead. <laughs> no, they all die anyway because they get slammed in the face with a pie. That yeah, is like, like acid. Is that the acid but the pie, pie, or was that a different kind of them. pie? It didn't come. On, it didn't like fall on top of them. It came at them. So that means someone threw it at them. Yeah, well, they I, just didn't have the money for that. Maybe the rich and Paul threw it at them because they didn't only like Mike, Tobacco, Dave, and Debbie get hit with pies. Yes. Yeah. Rich and Paul went to. So then, <laughs> and, and 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 when did like Debbie and Dave get back together throughout the course of this whole thing? They did didn't. They? At the, no, at the <laughs> end, at the end, Dave's got his arm around her, his arms around her, uh, like from yeah. behind her, and kisses her on the back of the, head, kisses her head. Well, because they're a throuple now. Yeah, but I, yeah, they're like a threesome now. <laughs> did you say that? they're a throuple? No, a throuple. A throuple. tobacco, tobacco lost, man. <laughs> you tobacco think so? Lost, yeah. He oh, lost boy. Debbie. Tobacco might have lost, and I was thinking the same thing, Steve, because at the end, Dave stays behind to fight one of the most ridiculous yeah. characters. And Tobacco runs away like a little bitch, and yeah. Debbie's like, nah, yo, I need yeah. punk in my life. Right. First and of all. I need alpha. <laughs> First of all, he didn't have to stay there, because that thing moved so slowly. He, he could, exactly. Out That's the there. other he thing, like, rolled right everyone, could just, everyone could just casually jog away from these fucking things. Yeah, okay. if you ran around so can we? That, you could kill each one of them because they can't turn. It's like we you know when yeah. Batman can't move his neck. No, they could turn like yeah. this. Like if he just he's... turns his head. The the one that's in the the oh the yeah, one the, that the oh, cop he gave him too much. Time that one, to do that shit. But that one was like, but that's our the scariest, scariest one. one. Okay, that's so the let's one talk that about was the, the scariest scene in the movie. Yeah, in the jail. So that's With the, the same clown that was at big movie. time, by the way. Right. That's the same clown. I don't believe so. Who was that? Is I'm looking at the burger joint. Yes. Yeah. So he's the creepiest uh, clown, in my opinion, 
and he moves the weirdest mm-hmm. and seems to be like the smartest like that scene this scene is the best acting scene in this movie oh because you have opinion. a good actor in it i mean the guy from animal house that actor is amazing He's got a great voice. He commits to everything he's saying. He does have a good voice. The fucking shit. Like, the I flowers? Love... I thought the flowers had like acid in them. But yeah, they didn't. Nothing yeah I, I was water. expecting his face to start melting or something. Yeah. It was yeah, dirty it was just... water, though. That water was... Yeah, crazy. it looked like, like piss or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like clown piss. I was like, oh, I guess he's going to start burning. Like, I thought as well. It was definitely um, not like regular water it's so yeah, weird no, but then no. they they didn't explain that at all either there's so many unexplained things in this movie yeah i just a shout out to the actor from that john vernon i mean he killed it in anima house and killed it in killer clowns he was the only reason to watch killer clowns so just fast forward to all his parts and that's it who <laughs> did the muppetry in this because it was pretty Dude, good this, this scene was pretty i mean to call it muppetry would be like an insult to all muppets i mean this was <laughs> this was like they, they you mean like puppetry uh, puppetry i meant well all the yeah. money went to this crap like all those clown costumes oh yeah i'm sure yeah so those masks are pretty hardcore but yeah when his head turned around that was kind of spooky yeah um were the, those two th- those two people in the jail were those the, the teens punks that yeah. he got in the beginning the yeah, teens that were just trying to have a bottle of wine and look at they the just wanted to w- <laughs> yeah. just wanted explore the explore their sexuality <laughs> Those yeah, guys that's what killed. was. Yeah, that's it. When they said, "I was just like, oh, these guys are lovers." Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was, that was very, very obvious that yeah, that's what was going on there. Yeah, they were just holding hands in the park, and Mooney, he's you know definitely homophobic he's and he old school. That. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, that whole scene when he got back and he saw the stupid footprints everywhere. At least at that point, I was like, all right, it's lit in a very specific way, so we're gonna there's gonna maybe be a scare. And when Hunk comes, what was around, the footprints? Why are the yeah, footprints there? Know. All, all of a sudden, time. their shoes yeah. just like leave footprints. Like, I'm what so was crazy. the point of it, I, dude? No. <laughs> I'm watching. I'm watching the boo scene right now. <laughs> Shadow <laughs> puppets. Boo. He's just like boo. <laughs> boo. That guy. You know, like in the first Batman, when Jack Nicholson, the the guy that tried to looks like young Jack Nicholson of the criminal. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what he looks like. Just like that hair slicked back. There. Boo. Boo. <laughs> But, so uh, I think I think the the alt the culmination of of scary spooky in this movie was in that scene when Dave Honk comes back and Clown is Independence Daying puppeting him. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, puppeting Mooney. Yeah, the, that was that creepy. was awesome. That was yeah, like the coolest was great, part of the movie because that was the only time that they talked. Yes, and they were just like we we just want to kill you. Yeah, they're basically explaining why they're there. Yeah. yeah. They just wanted yeah. to kill you. That, I wonder if Independence Day took their inspiration from that. Absolutely. I think Dude, Independence Day. that's probably where it was from. I mean, think about Imagine it. Imagine holy they shit. go to the writer Wait and they're like, where did you come up with this idea? And they're like, killer clowns come out of space. Yeah, because they were clowns. aliens. Yeah, they were aliens. Yeah. Oh, Dude. Dude. Oh. Dude. Wait a second. They, it's just like an Independence no. Day they come and they <laughs> like Dude. destroy all those cities, right? Same thing, except they didn't have the budget to destroy like New York and LA. They was like, fuck no. it, we're just gonna destroy Potsdam. So they bring this like <laughs> they bring like this carnival and they just go out and start killing all the humans. And yeah. what? Dave, and then they move on to the next one. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Mike Tobacco is, Mike Jeff, is Goldblum. Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> <laughs> this is Independence Day. Dude, this Independence- is Independence Day. Oh, this is- no. oh man. Oh, Maybe this movie shit, is good. Man. Yeah, and most of the, everyone on Earth is dead. <laughs> Maybe this movie is good. Dude, most of everyone's dead at the end of Independence Day. I, I tell you, like, I, don't know if it, I don't know if it makes the movie good now, but it definitely sheds yeah. a different light. It sheds it a different light. I mean, it helps like, it a little bit. Yeah, at just the end of that Independence scene, Day. Just that scene, the best scene the in best the movie. The best scene in the whole movie. Yeah. yeah. Big, big Top Clown is <laughs> big top. puppeteering Mooney at the desk, which was... Now, it, it turns out the inspiration for Independence Day. Okay. So now the where 1990 is, classic. Yeah. But is it a classic? Is this movie a classic? No, it is Independence no, Day. No, the 94. Classic. Independence Day. Oh, it's Independence Day classic. We're going to have to put that to the test because I don't know now. Yeah, that's got to be an uh, that's got to be an episode. Dude, this is a good scene. Mooney did well. 
yeah was that hand in his ass though is like what i want to know because like, or <laughs> it was just like i was just like what the hell what is happening here because i thought it he was, was crazy getting there but then he pulled a hand out of him I mean, he was like whoa yeah. he like slapped the blood out I was yeah. Like, yeah that was cool yeah, that was yeah. cool that's the only part of the movie anyone should watch <laughs> <laughs> that, literally that is that, the only worthwhile part of the movie the farm guy you know what's his name green there Graham elmer green. fudd i don't know this is where dave finds out how to kill him yes, yes. at this See, point this is the scene in the movie this is the yeah. this is at this point how is he not going let, get, let me get all the guns in this police station I think which maybe there's only like two right yeah and start telling people Aim for pop the, the fucking nose yeah no instead he goes into the spaceship with Mike holding a fucking mag light flashlight. Okay. And the, and a, a gun and a shotgun all okay. to Dave. Yeah. Dave. That was my favorite thing. When he turned to Mike Tobacco and he goes, here, take this. I was like, if I was, <laughs> <laughs> if I was, if I was him, I'm like, bro, give me one of the guns. We're going yeah. to the spaceship. What am I supposed to do with this stupid flashlight? Oh, thanks. A flashlight. Thanks. thanks God, Everyone Dick. else with us is nothing. All right. Here, take my girlfriend too while you're at it. Yeah, <laughs> dude. But Mike Tobacco, like early on in the movie, there's a scene where he sees the clown or something, and he drops a light that's like as big as a gigantic Walkman. I have yeah. twelve thousand. Yeah, what was that? Yeah, what was that? I thought it was like a radio, like a portable radio or something. It was like a lantern or something. I was just like, what is this? Like, it was just so weird. And he wasn't using it, was he? No, was he like, wasn't using it. I think he did have all the guns, Manny. I think that was it. I think it was one no, gun. No, that I think. <laughs> first of all, they shot that. First of all, oh, another thing that happened. <laughs> I'm just watching. <laughs> After they take Debbie, right? They put Debbie in in the balloon in the airtight Debbie. balloon, which she the, somehow <laughs> can survive inside of for half an hour. That's Debbie. floating. That's floating, floating, by the way. Somehow, right? Oh. After man. they leave the house, the house is filled with streamers as, as if it's been decorated for homecoming. Okay. So not only do they kill you, yeah, they decorate your decorate house, your house. <laughs> with confetti and streamers. They Bro. straight up homecoming style toilet paper. Yeah, your house. Yeah, dude, yeah. it's all colorful and stuff. Yeah, I'd be really excited. Like, all it'd right, be cool. kind of worth it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. They should go back be and be like, dead. the whole That's town like... just looks like a clown town after everybody left. Yeah, yeah. But of course, you everyone would be dead, and, and those would just be reminders of all the death. So, like, you could never. But the him. but the clowns would be happy. Do you think the clowns? What was the clowns' next goal? Just to move on to a different town or go they back were dead. to you know? But I mean, if the clowns were successful, oh, yeah, they were going to another town. Were they going to another town, or were they going back to their their planet? No, I think they're like zombies. I think they were just made their way through the whole thing, and they were just kept killing people. See, okay. That makes me to an uh, what I. Why did the state movie. police take so long to get there? And why did they? There was that one moment where there was like a pause in that radio call. I thought they were dead. You thought they were dead, and they's like, "Oh, just sit tight. We'll be there." It's like, why? <laughs> why did they put that pause in there? Because they were probably <laughs> thinking whether or not they were li- like lying or not. I think every day on set they were just like, "Holy shit! This is supposed to be a horror film. Like, we need to make something scary. So maybe that pause was supposed to be something scary." But the soundtrack wasn't scary. So because no, they had, didn't have a scary soundtrack, except for two scary parts, when the one clown was trying to kill that little girl, and then the Independence Day like puppeteering of Mooney, that was the only scary <laughs> music. And then they what, yeah. like didn't have any more money. Everything else was kind of campy. So that's why I think that's why this is just like you know overall. I think at the end of the day, this is like a campy cult sort of classic. Do you think they at one point were like, "This is going to be a cult classic," like? I so I know, think man. there was a quote. I think there's a quote while they were editing it, and one of one of the makers of the movie was like, "This movie's terrible." They're like, you don't understand. People, there's going to be people who are going to love this movie. Just there, there will be people who love this movie. I think the Chiodo brothers just got like they had a millions of dollars to blow. They had already spent enough of it on cocaine. And they spent the rest of it on this movie <laughs> and then made the movie while doing all the cocaine that they bought in the 80s. And it was just a big, uh, you know, symbol to themselves and just something that they wanted to do for themselves. Manny, this is going to get you really pissed off, I think. 
because okay. I, I just want to go back to just to like because I've made movies and it costs me. Uh, what? Well, no, how? That, <laughs> I think how much did Cocktail get? Uh, Rotten Tomatoes. This is gonna be fucking pissed pissed me off. How, what was the Rotten Tomatoes? I was going to ask you this, Dan, because I was just <laughs> looking at that. It's That's like, funny that you just mean you were connecting here. Cocktails was like, well, Cocktail 5%? got 5% okay, this on Rotten Tomatoes. 70, the film has an average of 75% on Rotten Tomatoes. Based on 24 critic reviews, the site's consensus reads Killer Clowns from Outer Space's title promises darkly goofy fun, and more often than not, the movie delivers. What? What? <laughs> Claddy of the Los Angeles Times wrote that the film demonstrates both above average technical skill and large what? dollops of imagination. Film critic Leonard Maltin initially declared the film a bomb, but gave the movie a second look after a few years. This time, Maltin awarded the picture two and a half out of possible four stars. In his second review, Maltin wrote, routinely plotted, but vividly designed with cheeky humor, plays its premise to the hilt, all circus <laughs> bases touched. That's true. I mean, that's true, yeah. I'm telling you, but, the Chiodo brothers were just sharing their cocaine with all these reviewers. But that's the thing. But, like, cocktail, <laughs> 5%. Cocktail. Yeah, fuck you. People not Killer loving clowns, cocktail. 75? Dude, Come so on. if you want that's to... That's crazy. See, this is the thing. If you want to put it against that, if you want to say, we're going to put this in the cult, campy genre yeah. and you're gonna you're gonna rate it that way and you're gonna rate it on based on the fact that it's about clowns and everything about the circus is in here they make fun they they throw pies at this the guy i at hated the fair, that scene right oh I wait oh my god i gotta talk about that for a second because when the, that scene. when tobacco and honk and all them show up to the to the look. circus they look at the big pile and they're like oh it, what do you say it looks like ice cream and they're like I don't know. Look again, and there's a whole skeleton arm like, <laughs> just sticking out from. Like, how did you not see that? Like, how did it take one person to to point that out to the rest of? Them? <laughs> yeah, I love it's that. Like, those, those two are stupid. Non, they're, they're dumb. Non, they're non plus two. They see it like okay. Let's just. <laughs> <go. laughs> doesn't he take? Uh, doesn't he take his finger? To yeah, it? he does. So his he finger should burn. His you finger mean, should burn yeah. off. His mouth should burn off. Yeah. Yes. Like, first of all, if again that cop sees a bunch of killer clowns come out of a car, <laughs> run! Get the hell out! How does he not know yet? Isn't he? And on, little guy's got a cherry. Like a little guy's got a cherry. Put a, a cherry, cherry on. on top. Right. That's again, why. I, again, campy. Campy. Yeah. So, like, if you want to say yeah. they cover that, yeah, Dan, I I don't even want to talk about the review on on that part because it is annoying <laughs> how people just don't appreciate cocktail. As much as they should. This movie is uh, fucking terrible. You can't tell me that Cocktail wasn't written better than this movie. At least Cocktail had a fucking plot. First of all, I Cocktail guess. was a Cocktail was a novel too. So I mean, you know, it yeah. definitely was written. I love how your guys' take on that movie was that Coglin is is uh, Flanagan's <laughs> pimp. <laughs> That's Dan's and, take, yeah. And then he, it, all he tries to do the whole movie is escape Coglin and he just finds him. He travels to fucking <laughs> Bermuda or whatever to find him. <laughs> I love that. The, the best part of that movie was that, like, after watching it and thinking about how, like, it so looks like the story of the TGI Fridays franchise, like, just the, like the just the creation of it. It just literally every there was like more <laughs> research, and I was like, holy shit, it might be that. Like, I was yeah. like, or like the ground round or something. Like, it was just so weird. Uh, yeah, Flanagan's is actually TGI Fridays. Uh, what do you think the F? The, it's TGI. Yeah, yeah, thank God it's thank Flanagan's. God it's Flanagan's. <laughs> Dude. So, oh, so let's go. So right, I will so, say, I will wait. say, if you want to review this on like set design, it was good. Like what? You're watching what the end. Talking about the set design. Even the set design was trash. I mean, I mean, there was a lot going in. Like there was no. Okay, let's go back to the fact that this is way before CGI and shit. Like all of these sets were like made, like yes. straight up made. Yeah, like, there's something to be said about that. Like I'm looking right now at the scene. At the end, with all the cocoons in the see, at the end, like that set is pretty involved, man. You don't really see like if you really look in the background and stuff. They yeah, have, but I was also should have turned into clowns. If this film was at like, oh, the the that would have been good. That cool. they're making more clowns. Yeah, that would have been cool. Then like you have should... a part. You have some sort of stakes right now. It's just like just leave. Like just yeah. leave. Nothing's gonna happen to you. You're, they're not making clowns. Like they're just gonna yeah. go. 
Oh, I guess we're going to go. We're, uh, they kill them and eat them. That's why they're so lethargic and fat and waddle all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. And they have to slowly walk through this fun house that is – see, Dan, I think that this, if you watch, like, the fun house that's in the circus, yeah. in the fair, I mean, it's a pretty crazy design that they're walking through. But it might have just been a fair that they were like, hey, can we film here? And they're like – See, look. Yeah. I'm sorry. Sure. Debbie gets out of the bubble and she immediately hugs Babe. Just completely <laughs> yeah, rega- yeah. disregards. Who's the yeah. one who went to your house, Debbie? It wasn't Dave. It was Tobacco and Rich and Paul. Yeah. Uh, and she gets out of the balloon, says, I couldn't breathe for a half an hour, and then hugs <laughs> her ex-boyfriend cop. Uh, God. Yeah, dude, Dave wins, man. Dave wins. Yo, they want to make a sequel to this, a whole like series as well. I mean, there's so much going on. Just watch August, CNN. There's the sequel. In, a, <laughs> in August 2019, after the acquisition of 21st Century Fox by Disney, it was revealed that Fox intended on developing the sequel to Killer Clowns from Outer Space. What? But Disney had canceled it along with over 200 other projects. As previously stated, the sequel is going to be titled The Return of the Killer Clowns from Outer Space in 3D. Oh, I'm all about it. <laughs> all of a sudden, Steve's like, let's just do it. That, Who cares I mean, if you're yeah, going to do sh- it? It's a shit movie, but like... That is a long you know, title. That it kind of looks like if you want... If you look at that scene with all the cocoons, it's kind of like, char- uh, you know, the Chocolate Factory type of yeah. like, yeah. you know, vibe. You know, going like... Or that movie Toys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was, was a cool movie. Fucking crazy. Great movie. Stupid. What? <laughs> That was a great movie. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. I Dude. thought the movie was a good movie, man. That was a great that was movie. a great movie. Yeah, that was it. so interesting. We'll put it All right, let's put it to the test. Are you talking about the one with Robin Williams? Yeah, I thought maybe you were talking about the one with uh, who's that? Uh, the black comedian, uh, and he's at actually, oh the he, toy with the Richard toy. Pryor, Richard and he's Pryor. basically a slave to this. He's like, a slave. Rich he, he gets he's bought. He gets slave. bought by this oh. rich family because his kid wants. To, to have wants him, him because he's to, to own him because he's dude, the father goes were so racist and they dude they were so like, bad they, dude he was they were basically like the father goes you could have anything here in my toy shop he and goes, he's like I want, I want that him. human I want that human being <laughs> wow oh, wow <laughs> Richard Pryor said yes to this movie uh, what kind of a psychopath is that kid though I know. Uh, that yeah. was crazy. Oh, oh! Another thing that annoyed the shit out of me in this one at the end. I'm telling you, this whole outro se- sequence is just was just the whole movie is annoying as, as hell. <laughs> the whole movie is just annoying. Like, ugh. but anyway, at the end when they they're getting chased by the clowns, they go through that stupid snake thing. They get to a door, oh, and then he opens it. Another and door. What is behind it? Another door. <laughs> oh, another door. He, another door dude mike tobacco is the most annoying person on the planet dude his voice is so bad he there's no way he could be in you another can't, door you another door another oh. door dude oh. just open it open the fucking doors <laughs> yeah just keep, no one needs yeah. the announcement and he would keep stop and look back like just keep going like this yeah just like <laughs> rip the doors open and then they get into this 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 room where they're surrounded and they've all got these like sick medieval clownish weapons. But yeah. like then the, the, they're the about Richard to die. Paul come crashing through some crashing through. So my question where? is, where, where are these people? Like, if you, okay, if Rich and Paul crash through a wall and they yeah. see you, where have you been all. running around in up and down and all over yeah, the place? Like exactly. What up and down? What 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 is it all one floor, but you're going up and down? I don't and if you're Rich and Paul. What makes you decide it's a good idea to crash your car into a fucking wall? Like they, they didn't know that they were in there. Yeah, they did because they slept with the two the two clown girls, and the the clown girls told them like, if you want to save your friends, oh, okay. you have to go to that, this. So that's what oh, we have to. Second. That's what we have. I to mean, assume. because like, dude. So they left. they were just their whole shirts were destroyed. They had lipstick all over their face. Yeah, like, yeah. They definitely hooked up with the female clowns. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But like. They're so the uh, the other door, other door, other door scene took like twenty minutes or something yeah. like that. You know. Wait, wait you a know. second. Wait a second. Sure. <laughs> so Rich and Paul fall into a ball pit. Yeah. Hook up with these two gross people. These two gross. <laughs> guys, 
Aliens, gross aliens. For some reason, didn't in, in eat their faces. Like, how did they not eat their faces, right? Because they're really in love with humans. Yeah, okay. So then, they, they're like the anti-eating. They're vegetarians. Oh, okay. But then, okay. <laughs> so then, you're telling me Rich and Paul then found their way out of yeah. the tent. Well, Manny's saying that... got in a car, their car, and crashed it through the crashed wall? Crashed into a wall. Yeah, because I'm saying that Manny's the, the girls... saying that they were given information from the female clown. Yeah, they saved the day. Think about it. And then they got. They didn't exploded. interrupt with JoJo, and the clown somehow thought JoJo was actually a clown. First time they've ever seen JoJo, but who's JoJo? Some, JoJo was the ice cream truck that they said, "We, I am the king clown." I own JoJo because JoJo. Uh, he's yeah. got a clown head on top of the thing, and for some reason they're like falling for it. And, and he's then, speaking and English, then, and then and here not, comes. Yeah, he's speaking not their language, <laughs> not and their language. he's a truck, and it's a truck. <laughs> like they're not blind. <laughs> well, the it fall. distracted them, Dan, because they had brick on them. Uh-huh. They had brick all over the truck. Yeah. So they're like, "Oh yeah. my god!" Like the the little guy's ears were fluttering, the little clown's ears. Which that yeah, probably yeah, yeah. costs like five grand to do. Yep. Sure. At least. At least. <laughs> Ear I mean, Shredder years. took like three people to move him. So, <laughs> like, I like to think of the big clown as like the boss at the end of the level. Boss clown, you know, yeah, well, boss clown. Yes. What was right. he called? I think he's called Clown. Z- they they clown refer to him as Cl- Clownzilla. Uh, okay. Yeah. And so he comes, destroys, explodes the truck. No way in hell Rich and Paul survive that, but apparently they do. Again, I'm gonna say that car exploded. Exploded. <laughs> like it was just like. It should have destroyed everything. It, that that was like ten grand worth of explosives. Like first of all, Cloudzilla comes, and these guys run away from Cloudzilla. Like the killer clowns, it's are easy weak. to run away. Yeah, they're slow because all they do is just drink blood and just chill. They're just no, slow. I'm saying Cloudzilla comes, they start walking away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, why? Oh, the clowns walk away. Oh yeah, I don't know. No, they they walk away before Cloudzilla comes. I think. No, no, no. They, Clownzilla comes down and they're like, Oh, yeah. Then they, they're we're like, out. Oh, shit. Yo, it's, we're out. Daddy's here. Yeah. Yeah. Clownzilla takes forever to get to the truck. And they didn't go anywhere. No. They no. waited for that. <laughs> like, just... th- th- I, this is like every horror movie, though. Like, <laughs> someone's doing the slow walk and, like, they, fu- they get you. And I'm just like, just run. Get in a car and press on the gas and get out of yeah. that town. That's the thing that bothers me about horror movies all the time. I love horror movies, but a lot of the times it's like, oh, there's a solution <laughs> to this. Get the in your car van, and The go. van got destroyed. The cooler but, is destroyed. Uh, yeah. Just get in the car and go. That's the solution to every horror film. Get in the car and get, in the car get and out go. of that town. Don't go to the camp. Don't go to that block. Don't, don't. return here. Don't go downstairs. Don't, don't go hide home. in the closet. Yeah. Yeah, don't hide in the closet. Don't take a shower. Don't do any of this. Don't ever things. shower or have sex in a horror movie. <laughs> yeah, just get in the car, press on the gas, and go. And go know, to a different town. Pick a direction out of a town. Go to the mall. No, <laughs> do you, no, don't go to the don't mall. Don't go to the mall. <laughs> go, don't go anywhere. Yeah. And then, so, what, and then, so at the end, right? Uh, so he finally, even though he hasn't, he's only shot like three people in the nose, three clowns in the nose, Dave finally remembers, like, let me pop the big guy's nose with my police badge he's he's somehow able to free his arm first of all he's grabbed up by his arms like this giant clown he waited on him he He waited to be picked up wiggle there and the guy he's like here here he comes he's gonna pick me up and Mm -hmm. he waited like a minute and he's like oh it's like you could have ran through this guy's legs and gotten the fuck out of there so he pops the nose and then everything explodes (laughs) Everything right. explodes. So they're definitely like a triple couple. What would you, would you call it? A thruple. A thruple. A thruple. Because there's a scene. When she thinks Dave dies, she hugs Mike. That's yeah. right. She hugs right? Mike Tobacco. Yo, Dan's then, just getting it in, man. Dude, then, be... then all of a sudden, her, Dave you know? somehow realized that everything explodes except for the truck. Like, how did Dave go like, let me go in the clown car. Maybe that's going to save us yeah i don't know where did he even find that yeah it's not even in this scene no it's not it's, it's not, not in the scene no it's, it's not, not in the scene 
And then why didn't, when he got out, did the state police not unload on him and just shoot him? <laughs> you just saw a space. Oh, yeah, because wait, off. the truck was outside the, the carnival next yeah. to the security guard. Yeah. So he got out somehow. Yeah, that car, that car was not in, in the... It was not the, in the scene. No, it wasn't. Okay. So then and also, the again, scene. he does not have a free arm to pop that nose. All, <laughs> one scene, he doesn't have a free arm, and then the next scene, his arm is wild and free, and he, yeah. he pops the nose. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I love how he saw his badge, and he's just like, whoa, I'm going to get... This is an alien. Like, how... <laughs> this is the cheapest way to end your film. Like, with a pin, you basically kill someone, like, with a push pin. Yeah. Right? <laughs> and he, he, too, the freaking alien... Goes into a freaking a spin, 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 an oh. explosion. Spin, the whole spin. ship explodes and then turns into fireworks all of a sudden. Yeah, what was that? I don't know. Circus, baby. That was circus. so stupid. Everything has to do with the circus. Even at the end, the brothers come out sucking on popsicles. I'm like, oh no, you. This was your idea. No, your idea. And what? and they have like glitter I'm on their saying, face. I'm saying, man, there's a lot of like uh, underlying like homoerotica in this. Oh, movie. they should have just made. Dude, d- those m- uh, yeah, my seriously. tobacco runs over to them and is so happy to see them. Those tobacco three. also runs over to Dave Hunk and is happy to see him too. They are legit a, a throuple. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. But the first one was funny was like how much he hated them. He hated Mike. Like when yeah, he yeah. Met, it's like you know this guy <laughs> like. Oh, it's you! It's like, oh, uh, oh, they did, they did a group hug. Yeah, Dave then, Hanson, Curtis Mooney, Richard, the Terenzi he, brothers. Okay, sorry, I'm just got the credits <laughs> going here. I'm waiting they, for Black Biker. And then they just destroyed them with pies, and that's how the movie ends. Pies, pie in the face, it's pie in the face. The Maybe that on bull- you. jokes on you, audience. I think that's what it was. Fucking thing. It was just the joke on the audience. I was so angry at the end of this movie. And literally, I told I was like, I watched it five minutes before we started recording. I was like, I hate this stuff. Wait, you haven't seen this ever? I saw some, Like, I you never saw bits, it back in the day? I've seen bits and pieces of it. And, like, in passing, I've seen, like, scenes and, like, a little bit here and there. And I'm like, I got to watch this movie. And I never got around to it. But, you know, now I have seen it. And, yeah. <laughs> and I'm a lesser person for it. <laughs> <laughs> and I want that 88 minutes back. Uh, the 83 minutes. So like minus 83 the credits. Minutes. This movie's probably like 80 minutes. Dear God, people. Punk <sighs> one, punk two. Mom one, mom two. Yeah, those are the moms. It's good if you're the winners. <laughs> winners of what? Who are you? What are you talking about? What are you talking Your daughter's a psycho because she's attracted to this maniacal clown outside. Like they Clown had performers. $1.8 million and they couldn't get story down. No, you don't have no to. story. That's no the thing. Story. As long as they were being campy, they were going to, this movie was going to do wait well. Wait a second, man. I don't they think were they were being campy, campy enough. enough. Exactly. They weren't really? being it hard enough because yeah, if not they hard really enough. wanted to be campy, they could have been campier. Yeah, they you know could have been mean? campy. It's almost like they were relying on the fact that they were clowns and there was clownish type stuff happening. Yeah. Yeah. That and that's, okay. that's it. And building stuff like the gun. I mean, because I used to, I used to watch some some random campy like I can't even remember the movies about like these re- weird elf looking things like gremlin ish looking. I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, were. yeah, yeah. No, I know. I think I know what you're talking about. It was like, really bad. Like but those were like, but those were those were good because they had like a good amount of scary to them too. You know. Yes. Like the movie Tremors, I feel like is a good balance between camp and scary because it's a dumb movie. That movie yeah. is stupid, but like it is fun, stupid, and they did it well. And there's a story to there's it. There's story. You actually like know the, you know, a little bit about the characters. Would, would you say like Friday the Thirteenth is campy? Mm, I think all I horror think, is pretty much campy. <laughs> I think Friday the Thirteenth gets campier, but I mean, I would say that it's supposed to be a horror film and a slasher film when it first came out. Um, with this movie, yeah, like, is just like let's build some shit. And then like Yeah, it's it's almost like their their goal was just to make it look cool, like build some fun yeah, you know, vehicles and weapons and sets and like costumes yeah. and like that's it. The weapon was yeah. one of the best things of their thing. Like people get tattoos of that weapon. Yeah. Oh so my god. Dude, and that yeah. popcorn. They said they actually made that thing. They say they made <laughs> they made more money, I think, in like t shirt and like yeah. merchandise sales. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, it does. <laughs> and, I mean, <laughs> 
<laughs> I gotta wait a second. I it doesn't tell us it doesn't say how much it made, right? I mean kinda like killer clown. You know somebody has like somebody out there probably owns one of the costumes. Oh yeah. Somebody out there. I somebody has the one. gun. Not somebody has mind. the original gun. I kind of want one of those costumes for Halloween. Oh, I don't even know when I'm gonna be yeah. for Halloween this nah, year. No, man, just for every day. Just to, just to have. Yeah. Just to have. Oh my god, that would be hilarious if he's just like at this point. I want yeah. the little guy's costume. I like that car. Car is cool. I mean, the thing is, there are some funny. There are some weird, funny things. The one scene where at Debbie's house, where she's trying to escape and she looks out the window and they're down on the ground with like that tiny oh the like the trampoline net thing or whatever they're just there because they that know was, that she's gonna be there <clears throat> yeah i mean that, that was, was kind of funny that was like yeah really funny that's what i'm saying they had like every aspect of like the circus i think it was definitely more funny and can't be than scary for sure yeah it wasn't scary would you say it's like the blob no but you keep bringing this up but I don't think it's like the blob. I think the they actually blob... compare it to it. Like this is thing that says like the blob starts out with an old cop that hates teens. Uh huh. And there's like another comparison to the blob. Mm. Just saying. I mean, I think you could go. You can get campier, but still stay scary. Another good example would be uh, the, there's this movie called Sleepaway Camp. I don't know if you ever saw Sleepaway Camp. It's probably on YouTube. You could probably just watch it on YouTube in full. And I think everyone should watch Sleepaway Camp. It's amazing. It's campy, and it's still kind of scary, but it's just like it knows what it is, and it just goes yeah. full force. Sleepy, sleepy, and campy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sleepaway, camp. sleepaway camp. And actually, when you watch it, you'll sleepaway see that like um, a lot of movies took from that movie. Well, Independence Day took from this movie. Well, yeah, I am now did. convinced that Independence Day stole this film. Yeah, yeah. Just like Fast and the Furious stole Point Break. I mean, that's right. right. <laughs> definitely <laughs> well here all we right. are guys we're at the the most important moment of time here we were all over the place today i yeah. mean yeah you kind of had to be with this movie yeah, yeah. it it was all over there was no storyline there was a story it was just yeah. random shit that happened for yeah. 80 minutes <laughs> i yeah. still want to know what's going on at debbie's house that's all like glittered out was that her house monsters hopefully she yeah, took a shower there but I mean, like, did she own it or is she living with like her parents or what? But see, that's the thing. April O'Neil owned it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they had enough money. I don't think they had enough money to like fill out the character gaps. Like, does she have parents? Does she have roommates? Does she have, you know what I mean? Like, and I feel like the people, like those two moms that were talking in the, in that like restaurant, those people lived in that town and they yeah. just be like, just say this. Yeah. And like, you know, you're going to be in a movie, you know, kind of like when Kevin Smith made Clerks and he like his mom was in a scene like, oh, right, right, right. Yeah. I feel like it was kind of like that. Like they had two million dollars, but they needed it to build the gun, to build that crazy thing that that was like vacuuming people up into it. Like that was a huge piece of like, sp- like practical effect. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so and even like I will say, yes, yeah, so those sets were like elaborate, but I, I still didn't like a lot of them because, they, yes, they look like cues are. And that was like crazy yeah i think they just had to allude to them with story being like she has roommates it's just like really yeah we don't have money to show them we have we need to get that popcorn (laughs) to like move across the floor slime yeah crawl across the yeah like a slug yeah but we see where their money went i'm watching the parade yeah it's ridiculous like there was a truck that was vacuuming up like, where did that come from? And that guy yeah. ran from under the car. Stay there. No one sees you. <laughs> and they're like, there's streamers everywhere. There's like, dude, people were out. All of a sudden, this town was busy. The whole town's gone. They're dead. The whole like, they all, dead. all died at the Everybody's end. They all dead. exploded. It actually would have been cool if it was like kind of like body snatchers type of thing. Like you said, Dan, like yeah. they were harvesting other clowns from like they made us. Yeah, that'd be Like cool. humans into. Yeah clowns that was what but i thought then, like what happening. would they eat like they bite you or whatever they do and who cares what they eat dude it doesn't <laughs> matter what they eat they eat shit from maybe the, the people store. in the cl- in maybe the people in the balloons could have turned into clowns oh we're forgetting that whole scene where like um the thruple and rich and paul enter <laughs> at the end of the at the end of the movie like enter into the tent and they're walking through and they're doing what we're doing they're talking about like what are they? Who are they? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I know. They they go in and uh, like I think they actually 
come up with like a decent point or I forget what they say, but like they kind of figure it out. I think one of the brothers was like, they're just cruising by for a snack or something. Yeah. Like yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. even Mooney at one point, he goes, Oh, what killer clowns from outer space. I'm like, you had to do that. Like you yeah. had to like, <laughs> hammer it in there. It's just like killer. Clowns. You know, that was, you know, that scene was in the trailer. Oh, a hundred percent. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, it, like reminded me of like how to like, don't make me say where we just in a hot tub time machine. Hot tub time like, machine yeah. yeah. Oh my God. It was so bad. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. We're at the test. We're here. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're still hanging in, Steve, thanks for listening again. Cause, cause you'll be listening. I'll be listening. <laughs> our number one fan. I'm, I got you guys here. That's right. That's right. You got us. <laughs> 15, our 15 fans. And we are just super grateful for that. <laughs> yeah but um, uh well yeah we gotta uh, put this to the, we gotta like does it pass so i need to know like what i i still i mean i don't know you're what, not really sure how, so how this we, is how it works like how does it work one we don't know does it pass <laughs> in the, if it passes the nostalgia test right that means that it's something that you feel like is still good that okay. from it it was made in 1988 that like if you showed it to someone now they'd be like this was enjoyable um, I like this. You would recommend that people watch it, okay, or no. it, you know, or, or if it's just nostalgic. <laughs> you also like to know whether it's it's nostalgic. Yeah, if it's or nostalgic. is it just bad and you fucking so it's like yeah. Three Musketeers. So we keep saying Three Musketeers, Dad, and I want people to know we're not talking about the book to Three Musketeers, okay? That was a great book, but we're talking about the candy bar to Three Musketeers. like From our candy bar oh, episode. Yeah, from yeah, our yeah. candy bar episode, plugging can- episode, what, five? <laughs> yeah. But like, um, you know, you <laughs> is it three? Yeah, episode five. So go back to episode five, listen to that, find out why Three Musketeers bad is a thing, or take your pants off and jack it. Go back to episode two and listen to the Blink Wayne. That was hilarious hearing you guys rip on that album. <sighs> oh, fucking terrible! It took a little bit away from my childhood, but um, it did. I was I was disappointed. I never got like I never I was, got into I never got into that album. Uh, it 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 was just as disappointed as I was yeah. uh, watching this movie. Yeah. So if yeah, it, is it nostalgic? Meaning it's a, it's an '80s film to the core. It's only that. It's only there to be made fun of. It's only there to have a good time. It's still a good time, but like you know not good like it doesn't pass nostalgia or is it just super bad and it's like should be erased from the planet it's tough it's definitely not good <laughs> so <laughs> it's definitely not good but like i don't know i think it's got some nostalgia to it like i would watch it i mean i enjoy i i can't say i don't know if i i kind of enjoyed watching it i was mostly just curious watching it to see how i remembered it and like what i remembered from it so i guess watching it just like reminded me of watching it like for the first time yeah so i I guess that's nostalgia i don't know i mean yeah i guess you could say that i mean i'm gonna agree to a point being like i don't think i would watch this film by myself for even the nostalgia of it no 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 it would have to be like yeah if you got you're with some buddies like oh remember that shitty movie and like (laughs) Yeah, <laughs> like passing around a bowl or something, and you put on some killer clowns. You know, like that would yeah. be fun. Yeah, this is a drinking game movie. This is a movie you put on, and it's like you make fun of it, and you just like have fun with it. I could yeah. see that by myself watching this. I was just like angry yeah. most of the time, but I can see the fun that we had talking about it. That was like it was, you know, that way. Yeah. So, I think it's nostalgic, I think, as an 80s horror, but I don't think as an 80s film or, you know. I wouldn't even call it a horror film. It almost doesn't belong in spooky season. But I would say. No, it's true. It's a good point. I would say, um, see, I don't even want to say it's nostalgic. I think it was great talking to you guys about it, especially for this podcast. It, It was nostalgic, but like, I don't even know if I could watch this with it. Like, if it was on, let's say we were all hanging out. Like the crew from Mineola, and we were like, "Oh, let's put this on, right?" Nah, dude, yeah, that would suck. Like it would be in the background, yeah. And like, I think maybe us three would talk about it now because we did a podcast over it. But like, it's not good. Like, yeah. it was. I was angry, almost at the fact that I agreed to doing this, <laughs> and 
because I was like, I did. Well, you shouldn't have suggested it then, Manny. Yeah. And so, so I did, I did like it when I was a kid. And I remember thinking this was awesome. And yeah, it was like, I guess you could say it's cult and oh, it's can't. No, man, it's, it's a, it's bad. It's bad. It was funny making fun of it. Yeah. It was, but like, I've had better times making fun of movies that I've liked. Yeah. Than this movie. You know what? So, yeah, so you know what? To me, you guys, it's they don't take away your votes, but I'm saying it's not Three Musketeers bad, and it's not Take Off Pants and Jacket. I could say like, yeah, man, that movie was great back then because it was a really shitty movie that you made fun of. Like, but like, I there's plenty of shitty movies that are better than this shit. This is I like feel- C minus to D plus movie. <laughs> I feel like, like it's the so acting. Weird. There is no such. There isn't acting in this movie. There's, there's only that one scene. There's no acting. There's no storyline. It's, it's like how this movie was even here. made is beyond me. <laughs> the oh, Chioda well, brothers had a lot of cocaine. Brothers, they shared it. Well, they they you know they made it you know themselves. I think and they didn't have that much to kind of go off of it. But I think um, yeah, I don't how know. did they raise I, the money, bro? In the eighties, think about the only way the I could see the them raising money for this is that they were going to say to they went to like either a toy company that agreed because think, they're like. Yeah. You're going to make money on this merch, and this merch is going to be hilarious. Or they went to the circus, and they're like, you guys are going to make a lot of money and tickets because everybody's going to start going to the circus. Because I wouldn't go to this. After watching this, like, hey, let's go to the circus. I'd be like, get the hell out of here. Everybody got an interest in clowns. <laughs> I think, like, I see what this you're saying. This movie does not promote, cir- promote the circus at all. No. I oh. think I see what yeah, you're saying with the idea of, like, that um, <laughs> it's not – bad but it's not nostalgic i feel like it's nostalgic but there's like a low amount of nostalgia you know what i mean like it's like that that All low right, so, amount of nostalgia so you know it's also a low amount I'm of nostalgia a, I'm, a, I'm still gonna stay at nostalgic because of its it just like has so it has that really like heavy cult type of like following yeah so what i wouldn't wa- i wouldn't watch this again i wouldn't say it's like really bad i would just say it's Nostalgic to the point, though, where I'm just like, I saw it once, I'm good to go, and I'm fine. It could stay in 1988, and I'm not, I'm fine with that. Okay. Yeah. So does that is that a pass or no? I don't. No, that no, it's pass. a fail. That's a fail. Oh hell yeah! The only thing that passes, Steve, like just to, so as you remember and listen to our Point podcast, break. is <laughs> passing the nostalgia test is not only that you're nostalgic. But you're so good that. But it's good still. You've been. You're even past nostalgia that you're in the present. Oh, okay, yeah, right, 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 right. Like, like yeah. So this, turtles. this does not pass. No, 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 no. no. And it's no. such a low amount of nostalgia that I'm like, uh, you know, if I had a time machine and I could bring it back to 1988 and leave all the copies there, I think I would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, I found the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on HBO. The turtles in Time. Yeah. Oh my God. It's there. Oh no! Turtles in Time. It's terrible. That movie should not have been made. That movie should no, no, no. They always have to go back in time. It's always got to be some sort of Wild West version of something in number three all the time. That one wasn't Wild West. They went. Well, it's like we considered it. Well, I mean, they went to. Well, it was really the West. They went. They went west. The east. They definitely they went east. <laughs> Manny, come on. They went. They went so no, far they west. Went they past, went east. I'm saying they went past. I know that it's east, but I was saying they went past California and they kept going. <laughs> <laughs> if they went that way, yeah. <laughs> so there was. Uh, a, so killer clowns in outer space. No. 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 no but that was no. a good one. That was a good one. More Steve. doors. <laughs> Oh, another, another, another door. door. Another door. Oh, can we also talk about Debbie. real quick as we wrap up? I, I just remembered I wanted to bring this up. The, gu- the guns, the gunshot sound was like they, oh. there must have been something in the eighties that was like they could only use one gunshot sound for any gunshot <laughs> in any movie that was in the eighties because that was the sound that <laughs> it's like this. Over the top, like oh mini sonic boom explosion. <laughs> oh, it was amazing! It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, dude, uh, no, no. Oh my god! Man. Another door. Another uh, door. Dude, dude, Dave should have just. Dave should have just killed tobacco uh, from the get, taken Debbie, and just skipped town, man. Yeah, like tobacco. 
Mike Tobacco. <laughs> Do you think those guys would have done well in like the city if like they landed in Manhattan? What? No, they would have instantly been killed. <laughs> Come on, someone would have shot thinking. them. No, because I'm thinking they could like fit in. Like people are like, oh, there's fucking circus well, in town. Like, you're right. Maybe in the eighties, because remember, like Ninja Turtles. I mean, they got around. In yeah. The 80s, so maybe Dude, they, they should do better. Killer Clowns meets Ninja Turtles. Killer Clowns versus Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Oh, Killer Clowns versus Predator. Dude, Predator wins. Are you kidding me? <laughs> he's not gonna fight. All you have to do is shoot him with the cotton candy gun. Obviously, Dude, he's not Dude, gonna, Predator, not gonna get the chance. Predator is so fast. They would be oh like, oh my god. In a fucking that would be the greatest thing in the CBS. It'd be two minutes long, and they come in like, <laughs> uh, the predator's like, this is over. Predator will be able to kill him fifteen times before they hit the ground. Yeah. Especially the fact that you just have to tap their nose. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, all a predator has to do is like disappear and then come up behind him like, Pong. and then that's the <laughs> end of. Oh my god! Well, Steve. All right. Thank you so much for coming on to the Killer Clowns in Outer Space episode. Um, Steve, you want to plug anything of yeah, yours? Yeah, Steve. Plug uh, well, I got a busted ass arm, so I'm not gigging at all right now. But uh, check out my Instagram, Steve Herrera Music. Can I do that? Can I plug that? Yeah. Yeah. That's Steve Herrera Music on Instagram. Check me out. I got some songs on there, some links to uh, my other tunes on Bandcamp and Spotify and, and uh, iTunes. Just check me out on iTunes. Steve Herrera Music, also on Spotify under the same name. Got some stuff on there. Check it out. Awesome. Give me a yeah. follow. Give me a like. Yeah, we'll put it in the show notes, definitely. So you get number 15, one fan. You got 15 follows from us, so you got 15 Sweet. fans. So you get the. <laughs> well, no, only 14 because well, actually 12 because three of those 15 are us. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god, and everyone, thank you so much for listening. We'd love to hear your. Uh, thoughts on killer clowns from outer space if you have wow. you know did we get it yeah. right and follow us on instagram and twitter cocktails and better jo- yeah join the mailing list and share with everyone you know and get them to join share and like leave a review man dan says it all the time he's gonna say it again in the drop that's gonna come Hell in yeah. please do this well we're looking to you know start a nostalgia podcast revolution here and uh Let's do it. your help uh we got a lot to I'm, test. I'm happy to come back whenever yeah man uh, yeah. We gotta get this kid on a music one, I guess. Yeah. Assume you know. Oh man, I, I was listening to your music episode and just flipping out here, man. I was pissed. <laughs> I was pissed, dude. We have plenty of playlists that we are. I forget to about. So. I forget what I was so angry about, but there was a few where I'm just well, like, nah. I heard you were, you were playing to me about fan. the Santeria or something, and you, you were like yeah. angry at that one. Yeah, no, I, I heard you were also a Meatloaf fan. Oh, Meatloaf's killer. Right, it's like a, kid. How does he not like Milo? He's, it's a, he's terrible, dude. dude terrible. The video is so got, much theatrics and everything. It's got yeah, everything. That's what I want in my the music, guys. Theatrics. The guys, like <clears throat> you could tell by everything I listen to, Slayer and Metallica. <laughs> the, the, theatrics is definitely what I'm looking at. <laughs> no, man, those those songs were like, oh, come on, like those, like un, the Unforgiven. That's a little. That's a little story. That's a little movie, man. That's theatrical as shit. The, you've seen Metallica looks like right well not now like I have a lot of things to say about them right now but like uh, they're not you know Meatloaf <laughs> <laughs> Meatloaf was in Spice World and that's cool with me that's right All right. well then when we do the Spice World episode you come on but, I uh, would love to because that passes all my books that, that, <laughs> checks, that passes everything do not mess with my girls and with that and with that, everybody, we'll see you at the next episode. And drop us, you know, an idea for another test. Suggest a test on the website, the nostalgiatest.com. See you next time. Sign up on the web. Thanks for listening to today's episode. Please subscribe to the Nostalgia Test podcast to know when new episodes drop. Don't forget to leave us five stars and a positive review so more people can find the podcast. Share your thoughts and memories on today's topic on our Twitter, at Nostalgia Test, and on Instagram, at the Nostalgia Test. Tune in next time because you never know what pop culture will pop up on the Nostalgia Test. <laughs>